Hello, everybody. I'm almost ready to get started. You know what? I'm going to read. I like that song a lot. Let's chat a little bit. So. We, we technically beat the game. I want to see what the arena has. I don't know if I really want to do a full end-to-end -end boss rush or not. I haven't decided. But I want to at least check out the puzzle stuff. Maybe I'll check out the drafts. And depending on how I feel, <laughs> like two hours, we either do side quests or we take a break. So TBD. Let's go ahead and boot up the game, I guess. So we're starting a little earlier. I might end up doing something after the stream. Give me a second there. Pause the music. There's apparently yet another update, so I'm not really sure how to take it. I don't think any of it is relevant to our playthrough. Terrace Pharma, indeed. I'm hoping none of it is relevant to the playthrough. Looks like mostly just bug fixes. Allegedly more controller things were fixed. Allegedly. I- I don't believe it. <laughs> right, Chan, I read that every- every single time. Also. I did the thing again. I'm so sad. One day, chat, I would like to put this game and not accidentally launch it with click and not be able to use the controller. One day. That's that's the real fix that I had. That's that's the real fix. Cause like I'm always gonna click because I'm clicking onto the screen. So it's hard for me to avoid that while streaming. But anyway, hope you're doing well in Parameter. We hop so fast. So we have two boss rushes. Two drafts. I don't know what this one is. Oh no, that's it. What's this one then? Oh, it's just a challenge one. So we'll put together a good deck, I guess. For now, let's, I guess, start with the puzzles. Because maybe we'll get something that'll inspire a build. We're in the glass puzzle. Hmm. I mean, it's got Mirror Orb. I forget what Steps Ahead does, but I think everything else we've used before. So we have 5 AP for some reason. I have an Ice Ball. Do I even use steps ahead here? Hmm. Fire a shot that pulls one target unit and flick one damage if target is grounded or this. Okay. Give spark. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I mean, it's possible... Do I need to even cast this? I mean, I have 5 AP, so allegedly I can cast everything. So, like... I guess the thing I'm thinking about... So, every time you hit the mirror orb, it does damage around things, right? So the question is, where do we place it first? Does it- maybe it has to be here? Because it has to hit the slime. And then I can shoot it with the shot. I'm just trying to puzzle things out. Then I have two of these. Why do I have two? So... So I can pull this closer.
Does it matter that this creates ice? I'm thinking chat. I mean, I could just go for it and see what happens. Uh-huh. So now I can... Now I can hit it with this. They're gonna split. Oh, maybe. Oh, I get it. Dude, do, do glyphs? Oh, because glyphs get rid of ice. Oh. Glad you're having fun in Parameter. I don't think I've ever used this as a practical application before. Oh, that didn't hit initially? So I had the I had the right idea, but I didn't get why didn't I get two hits on that enemy? Let me try this again. So I think I had the right idea to pull it, but I did something wrong. Did I do the order wrong? Because that should have been it. Like that's definitely how you finish the golem. I just I just thought it was gonna activate and then pull, because I've never used wind pull before. Oh, do I fire a spark first? Does it make a difference? I don't think it matters. Maybe I do this first? That way it gets rid of the slimes. I think this will still work. Okay, I just had to shoot the slime first. That's fair. So, I had... Oh, I accidentally hit the barrel. That actually really sucked. It did not mean to hit the barrel there. Rip. Okay, so I understand the puzzle. I just thought the wind shot would deal damage at the beginning, but, you know, that, that's what you get when you have to use cards you've not used before. I have to think about, like, way too far in advance, like what those cards do. Should be a little less afraid to experiment, but at least we could do this quickly. Oh, oh, come. Okay, the, the fast movement is definitely screwing me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> fast movement, please. I have to let go of it. I'm so sad they left me at 1 HP. Stuff like that wouldn't normally matter. Okay, try this again. At least we're getting faster at this puzzle. Go this way so I don't die. So what's our reward? Welcome, Murphy. End of, ran end of round random damage. Random enemies hit for 2 damage. That doesn't sound really useful. I think I'll pass on that. What's this? This is the Astrolabe puzzle. Okay. So I can jettison for more AP. Quake is pretty fun. We've used these before. So at least I think I know what cards we have. We have three AP, but the question is... How much of this do I really need? If I could do one damage... Uh, it's not gonna quite work, is it? No, that see, that'll kill them, but then it'll be at a bad position, because I can't sharp dash through that. Hmm, so I need to wound them slightly. The question is how to deal with the left hand side of the room. I have an idea for how to get through the right side. Let me start counting in my head. So... One, two... So I need four AP. 
I think to do what I want. I don't think I need sharp dash. Maybe I'm wrong. I think this will work. So I need to go... One, two, three, bomb jump. Is this correct? Oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. There we go, chat. I puzzled. I did it. <laughs> when it's cards I recognize, I know what to do. The combat start and unlock all puzzle doors. Oh, that's actually kind of fun. I might use that when my deck really doesn't need a curio, aka, aka like traveler plus whatever. That I might reasonably use. Compel to act, I've never used before. Vampire axe, I've never used before. Energy beam, I refuse to use. And keen dash, I've not used before. This one's gonna be a little rough, chat. I'm gonna have to read what these cards actually do. I don't think we've used any of these in our playthrough. So one of these is Charm, right? Yeah, it's this one. This one does one. I draw two, but I have no library. But if it hits multiple targets, it does more damage. We oh, never mind. This King Dash we've used before. I hate, it. I hate it indeed. I don't... I have never used Compel to Act. Is there a reason to use this card? This is what I'm thinking. Hmm... So, okay. Let's... Can I look at the monster health totals more easily? There we go. So. Blue Dot asks, what is that? Okay, so. If I... Okay. So, Keen Dash has a nice effect where every time you get a kill, it gets progressively stronger. So, I'm seeing... If I wound the thing on the right, that'll put it at one hit point, right? Then the skeleton is two, the scroll is three, and the final monster doesn't matter. So I think you have to keen dash kill. So let let's work backwards. How do I keen dash kill to get through this? So I'd have to I'd have to zip from the right of the goblin to go in below the scroll. Then to do that, I would have to I would have to compel the skeleton forward because he would have to be in a position where I can end my dash next to the scroll. So, this all starts with me energy shotting the barrel? Is that how that works? I think. Because that should do one. Then I move forward. And then I compel him to act. Is that how it works? That just seems like such a terrible card. Chat, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not sold on the usefulness of this card. I'm not sold. Like, you can do it for puzzle reasons. That's cute and all, but... I don't think I would ever use that. Little Signal says at the end of turn, discard a phantom card and draw a card. Eh. Promethean asking, what does VIP do in the stream element store? Uh, yeah, I just buy VIP. I just make you VIP as soon as you purchase it. Why? Rope puzzle to enter puzzle arena. Da -da -da -da. Tether web. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Chad, what are these bottom tier cards? <laughs> what, what is this? I've used Puppeteer, but I would not use the others ever. What do you mean, what is VIP for me? It's it's a Twitch status. I don't know I don't know what you mean, what do you mean? It's like what Murphy has. I'm gonna be real with you. Um Hack Combat Unit inflicts lore once a target mob. I, my brain has to think about this. So I have never gotten Tetherweb to work successfully. I have no idea <laughs> what it wants me to do. Oh no, make you a VIP. I could do so in a moment. So what do you want me to do?
Like, does this... Does this destroy the obstacle? Is that what this does? My brain is processing. I have never used it to destroy obstacles before. Again, there's a lot of assumed functionality where I'm like, I can't think of anything in my hand that would work, so... I would have to... I mean, he should be able to reach the other target, but the question is, do I need to do anything other than Puppet? I I'm hoping not. I guess we'll find out. So this should get rid of the web. So because he's an ally, he won't get rooted? Is that what the theory is? Okay, we had to... I had to think that one out. That was... Obscure. Start a combat, inflict charm to a random enemy. Charge and combat with an ally alive. Um... That's not terrible. That's more useful in tower. I wouldn't use it anywhere else, though. So yeah, we'll give you Promethean, uh, the, the Promethean VIP once we're, uh, done with the puzzles. Okay, right, so we have Jettison, Stalk, Fishbait, and Mercy. Well, Mercy's a delete. This seems more like my kind of puzzle, but we'll see how brutal this is. The question will probably be what to Jettison. So we need to give him a negative status effect, but how do we do that? So I might be able to get rid of Stalk, then fish bait him, mercy him? I'm assuming this is just what I do. How do I get it to only do one card? I, f I feel like this is a functionality that is supposed to work, and I have never seen this work as intended. How do I... What? 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 <laughs> UI, please. I think I know what it wants me to do, but I don't know how to get the UI to do what I want it to do. So I just want to select one card, and this is something I've never been able to figure out with Jettison. Let's learn in real time. So, I was somehow moving the UI, but not really, which made it really confusing. Like, what? It, like, what is this? Is this how you're supposed to select one card? You're supposed to hit up and down on the D-pad? Like, that's actual madness, chat. Is this what you want me to do to get that... Oh my god, I... <laughs> Chad, I don't, I don't even know where to begin with that controller scheme. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I honestly have no idea what to tell you. Can I even reach that? Wait, how does that... What? That can't be right. Wait. Wait, how do I kill him? I don't have enough AP. Um... Is this puzzle bugged? Honest question. I don't have enough AP. I can't use this and the other thing and reach him. Was I supposed to gain... Was I supposed to gain 5 AP here? This isn't going to work. Uh, um, is did you break your puzzle? I only have four cards. How do I get five AP? How do I get five AP with only two cards? What? I am so lost. This doesn't. This, one is special. this doesn't make sense. 
Was I, was this not supposed to cost anything? Did you bug this puzzle? I need a fifth card to make this work. Hello? Like, I could get rid of one of these, but it's not possible to win then. I, I have to assume this puzzle is bugged. Chat, please feel free to look up the solution to this. I guarantee you there should be a fifth card, or I should have had one more AP. Because this makes no sense. Or Jettison is bugged, and it's not giving as much AP as it's supposed to. Because it says four. I need to go to five. I love how glitchy this is. This, this UI makes no sense to me. So without 5 AP, I can't solve this puzzle. I'm confused. I don't know what it wants. I can't make 5 AP with this unless there's unless there's some UI wizardry that I don't understand. I discarded a card plus Jettison. So in theory, that should have given me 2 AP, but it only gives me 1 AP. So unless I want to throw away 3 cards, which I can't because I only have 4 and I need 2 to win... Uh, yeah, I think this is called the Tome. I honestly don't know what it wants me to do. Because, like, I have to use this. But I don't have any other way to get AP. <laughs> Chat saying it has five cards? I mean, it's not me, right? Like, that one, I think, is actually legitimately impossible. Like, I know I'm not the best at puzzles, but cut me a break on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, don't, like, don't, I could get blamed on a lot of things for not understanding quickly enough, because I'm blind when it comes to puzzles sometimes, but I feel like that one's not my fault, surprisingly. Like, me messing up that first one, like, three times, that was my fault. That one, not my fault. Alright, so this one is... Interesting. So I have four cards. Double the value of effects currently on target. So I could double a blood snot. Oh, unless I want to get retaliate. Hmm. That's interesting. I am not sure what order to do this in. So Vault would let me go anywhere here. So the Vault is the card I don't use as often. So I just don't see the point in it. I'm also only at 1 HP. So 1 HP does matter. So I think the intent is that I have to... If I double... If I retaliate... I can get to retaliate 2. Do each of these have 2 health? You have 4 health. How does that work? I guess I have to hit you with the dash? Oh yeah, so... Okay, let me see. You're gonna attack here. You're not gonna do anything. But you're gonna... No, you're not gonna hit the buddy. How is that gonna work? Alright, so, okay. Let, let's start with step one. So I think I need to come over here. That's step one. Step two. How many times do I zip through this is the question. Once, twice, three times, and there. I think this is fun. I'm at 4 HP, then I can wound you. And I can come back. Now, do I want to end here, or one tile over? So that'll put him at two. I'm just thinking, did I mess it up? Because I still have to use Retaliate at some point. Because presumably the bomb guy is going to throw the bomb and that'll end the puzzle. I think I need to be further back. I was about to say I remembered this had a, a limitation of distance. So I could... Lure... Okay, I could lure... Him. What are you doing this turn? So you're going to... Oh, you're going to hit me no matter what. But he also has... <sighs> so 
so I could catalyst. Oh, it's going to lure all, both of them. Okay, that's... Is that fine? Is this will put him at two? Maybe this will work. And then I double. Okay, I don't die to that. That's good. I wasn't sure if his goblin torch did two or one. That's what was throwing me off there. But I guess because he meleeed, it's fine. Gain one AP after killing the first enemy every turn. Oh, that's funny. That's actually surprisingly useful. So yeah, I don't think I can complete that. Dev says arena puzzles have solutions as of 1.1 changes. Bobaduke says it's possible. I don't understand. Is there a UI thing I don't understand, Bobaduke? I don't know how to get extra AP to make this happen. actually a fair puzzle i'm gonna be honest with you i don't get it does stalk do something that i don't know that it does because we jettison stalk but i don't have enough ap to solve the puzzle so i'm just kind of confused like if i sacrifice stalk i just get four ap which isn't enough to win because i need to move vertical Unless there's some mechanic that I don't know about. Because uh, I don't... Stealth doesn't... No, because it's not flight, so it doesn't let me go through the wall. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't get the solution. If the, if the answer is something other than jettison this for AP into fishbait into mercy, I don't know what the solution is. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even have a remote clue how this is done with just this many cards. Unless this again moves you. Because stealth doesn't do anything. I can't use that for movement or anything interesting. I can't hit him with... I would need a fish bait to use mercy. Because it has to be a negative effect. So unless Bobble Duke tells me the solution right now, I'm giving up on this puzzle. I honestly don't get it. We've done this before. I don't have enough to win with this. Like, if I do that, I just have 4 AP. Which I don't have anything I could do. Like, I, I could fish bait him. Cool. And I can't reach him. So, I am giving up, unless somebody tells me something weird about Jettison that I don't know. And we'll move on. We'll save, though, I guess. Speaking of which, I want to check one thing. Do so most of the curios now? Only a couple missing. I'm saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Interesting. I know we have a couple to do from the tower if I feel like it. So I 100% don't get the puzzle. I don't know if there's some weird thing you could do with Jettison. No idea. That I will spot it again once I check the stealth card. Does it teleport you? I didn't think it did. Oh, it swaps positions with things? Oh. I don't know if that helps me, though, because I can't swap with the tree stone. I 
don't think this answers. I don't think this solves anything for me. If I could have jettisoned these, I would have understood, but I can't. Unless it really wants me to... Does it really want me to melee him to death? Will that work? I mean, I could put fish bait down technically and warp to it if I really need to. No, I can't discard stealth. No, I was going to say, if I could discard stealth, I don't have to do anything different from the other solution. So, like, in theory, I could fish bait, swap it, and that puts me... How long of a distance is this? Two away. Like, I could, in theory, do something, but that... I don't think that puts me in an interesting position. I mean, it puts me, like, over here, but then this is not in range of the other barrel. Yeah, I guess... I guess if I do this, then... If I don't use Jettison at all, this should reach, then. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that puzzle. I don't feel bad for not understanding that. I don't think I've ever used that mechanic on stealth. Where it becomes empty, reshuffle all cards, crystal shines become limited. Interesting. I wouldn't mind that on Traveler, honestly. I actually like that Curio, though. I moved to bought a seat to Brina Puzzle and it was mine. I'm not surprised. That does not surprise me. Yeah. Okay, so they. So in my defense, it was originally the Jettison, and then they changed the puzzle around. So I, I feel less bad about that. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I want to do before I do the tournaments? I guess I could do the draft tournament first. Uh, I mean, why would I, why would I pick anything other than Queen's? I mean, a race is really good, but I think I want to teleport. Ooh, this. Oh no, this is. Ooh. I'll do hook. I don't really like those choices. Oh, brilliant arrow. Although bad breath might matter more, but a brilliant arrow, we need a boss kill. Alright, so I have seek if I want to exhume. I don't really want Ripaze. Don't really like these other options. Could make myself emergency immune. Maybe that'll be useful. I really need like a damage ability though. Fireball's not bad. Shieldbreaker's okay. Try fireball. Count, urge. Just not liking these choices. Oh, boomerang. Oh my, boomerang's here. I can't say no to boomerang. Do we have some mobility skills? We have mulligan, reshuffle hand and library, draw one card for each one. <laughs> no, it's kind of tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do I want to copy? Tornado's okay. I definitely don't want Builder's Drive. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten Bonfire. Probably just want more AoE. Mulligan is interesting, but I don't think I'm going to use it right now. So we have a lot of projectiles, a little bit of healing, and six movement cards. Maybe that's good enough. Do whatever. Although I just realized it keeps our Curio. Our Curio is not that useful. Whatever. I I thought it was going to give me a different curio, but that's fine. Yeah, we definitely want a clean house here if we can. So I could teleport and kind of wreck them. I think I'm going to draw some cards. It's okay. We effectively have a dead curio because I can't use it for the most part. That is a very powerful teleport, considering it.
Uh... There we go. I don't really want to use this if I don't have to. If I just make myself immune, then that doesn't solve the problem of the other enemy. Hmm. Do I risk using a gambit here? I'd go over here, but then I risk the boomerang. Hmm. These weren't quite the enemy types I was thinking I was going to come into. Let's do something like this for now. Let's burn a retaliate, I think. We're just melee. We don't have to burn anything. Ooh. That is a significantly more annoying room. You guys can reach me, right? Hmm? I wonder. I mean, when else must when else am I going to bother with the retaliate other than this scenario? I feel like the answer is basically never. All we need to do is use boomerang here. We should be mostly fine. Fireball actually coming in handy. Thank you, Fireball. I want to manipulate where he goes. I want to hope that he ends up in front of me, because then I could just hit him with Tornado. It's not quite where I wanted him to go, to be honest. Take it though. See, so yeah, if I got a retry, we'll choose a new curio. Oh, I see that's that's cute. The trap refused to hit him. It was cute. Um, we got healing to take just take damage. Wish I had a clean double. I mean, I could waste both of these. I don't really care if he hits me. Let's go ahead and use a mug. I'm basically gonna restock whenever I can. I could have thrown away my cards first, I guess, because I didn't really want to keep a mug, but that's fine. Like, if there's a really tough enemy, we have really narrow. So I can just one-shot this Savant if I need to. You can't reach me from here, right? Yeah, you can. I mean, we're never going to say no to draw two. This boomerang is all the draw power that we need in the deck. It's so unfair. I get another boomerang off of that? That's actually kind of sick. Man, boomerang's so good, chat. So yeah, just draw into all the options there. Oh, I was in range of Tesla. Somewhat annoying. I somehow did not draw one of my six teleports, which is a bit unfortunate. 
Um, because I would have been able to hook shot or Queen's advance and kill the the far creature. I could technically hit the fireball bank shot. Guess I'll go for that. Thank you, fireball. You were a good choice. I have now used your alternate function more than once to solve my problems. I guess I'll line up with him. I see a downside to this. Really wish I could move a little further. This is where a curio would have helped. <laughs> I need the ability to just one shot this creature, which I can. It's just awkward. Wait, did he summon nothing? What? I saw him do something over here, but then nothing happened. That was interesting. So I can technically. I want to get away from. How come I can't see the Tesla's range, by the way? That's kind of unfair. Um... I mean, I guess I'm just gonna slowly get closer until this guy runs out of shield. So that is in range of the Tesla. That I don't- that I don't appreciate, game. That messes up my math. Also, the fact that he blocked me in like that is kind of rude. I think I am screwed now, because I did not draw a single teleport. Sucks. Don't see a good way out of this without taking a million damage. I guess I could just try to brute force it a little bit. I mean, I'm going to lose all my cards anyway, so who cares? Stalling. There's the stun I was expecting. But yeah, I think it's over. I just drew kind of poorly. Although, actually, wait a minute. Really narrow might save me there. No, it won't, because I can't fire it due to stun. That sucks. Unless I get lucky and they don't block the mage. Oh, that'll pierce through him. That's fortunate. Thank you, anti-shield tech. So if we could get this stupid guy out of the way, then we salvaged a very awkward draw of oops all healing. I think this is why I also just say from, like, when people ask me why I don't take healing, I feel like that was the exact scenario of why I don't put healing in my deck. I don't believe in healing. <laughs> that moment where I dead drew into three healing cards instead of movement or damage cards is exactly why I don't like that. Um, center turn here. I mean, healing's for people that are playing defensive. I don't want to play defensive. This game favors offense. You're not going to do anything, right? Like, you can't hit me. He's dead. I mean, we won with, like, incidental healing. Oh, I didn't realize he had sleep. That's unfortunate. I mean, this doesn't really change that much, but it's still annoying. Alright, we're gonna at least hopefully draw into some mobility. Thank you. Uh, so I could kill the ghost. I could retaliate if I need to. See, I actually... I think I like this not because it is Retaliate, but because it is immune, <laughs> just to be clear. Like, if it was any other Retaliate card, I would have passed, but that's a, it's a pretty strong option select. You are going to attack me and take two damage. You should attack me and take damage. Yeah, let's do this then. So 
This will save me having to hunt them down later, which is convenient. So he's just one melee away from killing. What are they doing? I can dodge that by gun. Okay, perfect. They cooperated with us. I can move down too. Unfortunately, without a good damaging card, I don't have a lot of good options versus this. They only have 1 HP, which is the bane of Raider cards, because they just don't know how to deal with 1 HP. They can deal with 10 HP. They're not in a position I can multi-hit them with Boomerang yet, but they should, in theory, slowly get in range and hit each other. In theory. Let me try going downwards to keep them near each other. Definitely a different style of game compared to Slay the Spire. Yeah, I mean, even Slay the Spire to an extent, like, you could get away with pure offense. It's just that there might be a pure counter to you. That's the risk you run with the pure offense strategy. Like, if you're doing the oops, I play 40 cards strategy and then Chronomancer shows up, it's GG. But, like, everything else, you just kind of run house on them. You don't need defense. There are some decks that I think just can't do it well without defense. Or at least I've not had any luck going oops all offense. But there are definitely some other ones that are not too bad. I don't like how awkward of a position I am in here. So you are going to hit me no matter what I do. Do I just retaliate is the question. That feels like kind of a waste. I could come over here and try to boomerang them. I definitely don't want to get hit by this. But we have better mobility cards. Let's do this to try to draw. Avoid taking the damage because our health is an important resource right now. Okay, we got our teleport card. That's fine. Uh, We only have one card left in the library, so we should probably reset our grave. You know, we just casually went in with basically no curio because that curio is dead. I don't think it does anything, <laughs> to my knowledge. It might exhume. Ooh. Um. Actually, we have a pretty good card with dealing with him. We'll take the damage, but we one shot. The tornado is not bad against these creatures. It's not the. <laughs> Not the, okay. So, unfortunately, because I was moving back and forth, I wasted an AP. Oh, this feels so bad to do. I really did not want to do that. I was just looking at my cards, and I accidentally unselected. So that was a big waste of a card there. Unfortunate. If I back up, I could do okay damage. I don't think they do anything to me this turn. So let's just deal with them. Uh, we get rid of the healer. That would be huge, actually. Alright, so that's one less point of damage I have to worry about. I got my teleport back, which is nice. So, this point onwards, I don't really have to do anything special. I just gotta hit them. So, like, they're not worth using the card on them. Alright, so I can see what they're targeting when I hit R1 at least. That's interesting. So if I'm looking at that correctly... Oops. Wait, how did I get... How did I have the other mode? Oh, there, there we go. Okay, so I can look at the stats there. So if I look at this... There's a weakness here, so I could get a free damage here. Well, that puts me in an awkward position here. You're just gonna teleport. I'm just gonna wait. This should be GG for him, at least. Kinda have to pay attention to where he teleports. There we go. So we're down a teleport, but we still have a pretty solid hand, so I'm not that worried. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I kind of regret not having more than one teleport. I'm not gonna lie. Double teleport here would have ended this room. 
I think I got hard punished there, chat. Not gonna lie. So I could get rid of this the, the gate enemies. Is that worth doing? It might be. Into retaliate to kill you. Because you're gonna bait me, which is a problem. So I think I need to be on this side, even though I don't want to be. The question is, can I burst the other guy to not have to do that? If I had Brilliant Arrow, I would have probably teleported, moved one, Brilliant Arrowed, and just been fine. But unfortunately, even if I hit him with the three, the tornado only does two. So we're kind of in an awkward position. I could teleport here, but then I get put to sleep, which is bad. Um, I really don't want these gates to turn into more horrible things. I'm just thinking about where to go. So I think the right strategy is to make sure that these don't turn into demons or mages. Two demons being alive is okay. We have a retaliate option select. I will just pop it early to kill the other guy and then hope the other guy's bait is not really far from me. That's fine. Oh, we drew Boomerang, but we can't attack this turn. I can get out of range, but we will. I need- I'm gonna lose an AP here, sadly, due to bait, which feels terrible. Just like to say how bad that feels. So we're gonna lose two AP. We only discard at the end of turn. So they're gonna teleport next to me. There's not much I could really do about that. I could teleport away from them next turn. Let's. Do I want to teleport in at all? I don't think I do. Is it worth doing this to draw the cards? Maybe? I'm not going to get hit this turn, I don't think. Oh no, you will hit me this turn. Uh, thinking. This is probably the most overall damage I could do if I go here. It doesn't hit the other mage, though. Let, let's do this for now. So if I want to, I could just retaliate. It's probably for the best. Yeah, let, let's tank the let's tank this turn. Let's welcome them in. Then I can hit them with. I think if we back up, we could boomerang again. Perfect. You are going to do something that will injure me. What are you doing? Also going to do something that injures me. But I have a heal card. So again, we, we can't be super afraid of taking damage. I think it would just make sense to figure these out right now. We'll take the damage or whatever it wants us to take. That's fine. Yeah, burn one doesn't really matter. Uh, We need to kill you before you do anything. So let's move up. Technically, don't have to melee him again, but I will. <laughs> I like how it discarded my healing ability, so I didn't have to waste a turn doing anything. That was cute. I would really like to do damage to this enemy. Oh, he moved out of distance. That feels so terrible. I really don't want to use the teleport on this. The statue is actually trolling. Get rid of these. Do I use the tornado or the flare? Or do I just take the damage? I 
should just take the damage. Let's take the damage. Oh, is that it? Oh. I thought it was going to go much longer. I, I guess I win. GG. <laughs> right, chat? That kind of ended abruptly. I was in the middle of winning, but that's fine. I'm assuming I won. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to give me a little reward screen, but okay. I mean, we beat it. I guess the total at the bottom is how much I currently have. And then I just put together decks to beat the bosses, I guess? I mean, we never tried making a multicolor deck, which in theory should be very broken. I would just like to state, like, in theory it should be, like, crazy broken. Um... Where was that one that I got earlier? Oh, not this one. Where is the one that we just got? Question mark. This one. <laughs> I mean, if I just get infinite shuffle, isn't that just like Traveler's best friend? Like, that's its only downside, right? So I just take this, because I don't super care about card draw and Traveler. Uh, let's clear this out and let's think about a deck that would be stupid. Let's try some Traveler. Maybe we'll do like a Splash of Raider. Or I could do like Traveler with a Splash. Or I could do Stranger with a Splash of Traveler. I could invert that. I don't really need another status thing. So this could easily just be like one of these, for example. If I wanted to do something like this, I can investigate my options. Could just go oops all stranger because stranger is really dumb and then just take like a hint of a uh, traveler so like we still get access to all like the good stuff i don't think i care about card draw i probably just want hp for safety and that's it we're going with 15. Yeah, let's just make a BS deck. So, obviously, we need Jettison. <laughs> we need, like, a lot of Jettison. So, that card's already there. Do we need anything else from Traveler? Uh... This is free AP. I'm not gonna say no to that. We have infinite kunai, so some of these don't have a purpose. So, we're gonna use 10 cards from Traveler... I could gain flight, which is okay. If we're doing a boss rush, it might be important that we get this. I'll get a couple of those. And then everything else is just like, watch how nonsense my hand is. Because I don't have time to go infinite, but I could just constantly get back what I want. So I think I want seven seeks. Morning. I actually don't think I super won, unless I'm bringing back Jettison, but then I have Seek for that. So let, let's keep our draw cards to a minimum here. I'm thinking, like, two is probably fine, and then I go seven of these for sure. Grave Summons is okay. You count that towards the Exhume count. Apocalypse is a nice finisher. We'll go with some Bad Breaths. I was not a super fan of Black Hole. I did like Slimy Fireball. Uh, we definitely need Teleport. Basically, the more movement we have, the better, and if I can have seven of it, the better. I think I really care about anything else. I mean, it just really depends on how bad they stealth us. I mean, I could, I could think it, put in Gleaming Eye to stop stealth, but honestly, everything else in the Stranger is probably fine. I don't know if I really need Key Blast, if I keep our cards simple. I don't know if I really need Prayer in my deck. I guess it just depends on how hard 
it I guess it just depends on if I have like rooms or not be in the boss rush as to like what my curio would be. If there's rooms in between, I'd prefer Tomb Sigil because we should basically go infinite. And my graveyard doesn't really matter. Seek is just there to make sure I can pull whatever I want multiple times. Um we just get another mobility card. We get two hooks. Don't think I care about anything else. Honestly, I'm thinking it's probably not worth taking too much else. I'm going to keep it under 70. Because if we're just going to recycle our library over and over, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> I could put like a prayer in there if I'm bored. Let's get two. Let's get like two prayers. Well, I mean, technically, I could just take seven. I guess there's no downside to it. Is there anything else that I want? Oh, we'll take three. We'll do three night jumps and get rid of a hook, maybe. Yeah, I might like that a little better than hook. In fact, why don't we go to first hook? Take it out the old-fashioned way. Why don't we just up the number of night jumps that we have, if I'm allowed? Yeah, maybe something like this is okay. So we have, like, flight in case we fight fire boss. It's also emergency movement. Energy needle just to draw or possibly get AP. We have seven jettisons, so we could really destroy our hand if we need to. Which is fine, because we have Seeks. And then that makes Grave Summons a little better as our finisher. We also have Apocalypse. It's probably fun. Let's try something like this. It's just experimental. Um, We'll do the first boss rush. Ah, oh, it's you first. First turn, they're not going to do anything, so let's go ahead and just pray. Okay, we got a good damage move. But you're not going to move, right? You're targeting me. Yeah, let's see. He will move. It's unfortunate. I forgot his mechanic. We can teleport out of the way, though, so I'm not too scared of this. He is immune, so we could come... We come over here if we need to. Here's another prayer. Oh, drew energy needle. That's always fun. Yeah, let's end our turn here. I don't care about retaliate at all. I could seek our teleports out if I need to. It's not a bad idea just to draw them out of our hand. Let's draw them out. He's going to melee me if I'm close, and I can't do anything this turn regardless. Might as well as get in. We have two things that gain AP that I could just hold on to. I'm okay with. But we need to burn these teleports when they're no longer immune. I think this is where I start burning them. Interestingly, they don't seem to be assisting the enemies. It's just that, is this like without the miasma? Is this how they're supposed to behave? I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. So we should draw a card next turn. We can keep our teleports for now.
this retaliate is kind of annoying. I might have to just bite the bullet. Take some damage here. I need the AP this turn. I don't think so. Teleport over here. Now in kill range, whenever I want to. Right now he's vulnerable. I could jettison my hand. It's tempting. I think we need to do some damage on him now. You're not gonna attack. You're not gonna do anything useful. So I think getting rid of a health bar here is gonna save us a big headache later. Now we just need to draw cards, which I think is fine. So if we have to stall, we can stall. I don't think this really matters at all. Because we still have two cards in hand that don't count towards our hand limit. So they will take poison. So it's possible I could jank him out with poison if I want to. Not worry about him at all. Ideally, though... I'm gonna do something like this instead. Get through his annoying retaliate. Not quite where I wanted to move, but I think that's still fun. It's still fun. I can't do anything this turn anyway, so I'll just be walking away. If I move two, I could get rid of one. Oh no, that's gonna hit me regardless. Right, so I have to move over here then. I would love to jettison our hands so bad, chat. You have no idea right now. I think what I'm going to do, since I don't have an ability to build up the cards, I think I'm going to flip one of my... I think I'm going to flip the Curio next time. It, now that I realize it's just going straight into a boss room, so I can't get the setup that I'm looking for. So that's fine. We've learned. That's fine. If it's just a pure boss rush, that makes it easier for us. But what do I do here? So I don't really want to get hit by this. I get rid of you. That does do a lot of damage. I think I just go for it. So both of them are pretty injured. I want to move closer to this guy, I think. If we draw another bad breath, funny enough, we just kind of auto win. You're not going to do anything. You're eventually going to do something. I think I just stall. So both of them are almost in kill range. So if I teleport, I can kill the other guy. Question is, do I want to? I have a damage that does four. If I teleport, four shot him. Is that a safe spot to stand? I'm gonna take damage, which is fine. I guess that's fine. I think that'll work the way I want it to. <laughs> I mean, to guarantee it, I could energy ray him, but I prefer not to. You're not going to do anything of interest, but you're automatically dead. GG? Wait, what? Oh, it just goes straight into the next boss battle. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that complicates things. Uh, good to know, I guess. So that means summons are super OP here, then. Oh, I should have brought an Oracle deck. Regrets. 
Let's get another prayer card in. Uh, that might be useful later. Let's draw a card. Let's exhume. Use another prayer if I want to. Let's summon more minions. <laughs> Good shuffle in my hand. That could be useful later. Hmm. Gravestone here would be very powerful if I can protect it. That is a lot of minions. Um... I guess I just chill out, right? I don't really care. Sure. The game play itself for a little bit. As long as a zombie blocks that one, I think I'm okay. So she's gonna take pretty high damage here. Could discard cards. I probably want to teleport and then kill this character. I'm gonna have to deal with him. One less summon for our summons to get distracted. I might mulligan next turn. Let's see what we draw this turn. Teleport card. That's not too bad. So she's getting hard bullied. I think we could agree. The gravestone's putting in the work. Might just shuffle our cards here to gain AP. Thinking about it. That's kind of like our instant out. If we were close, I could have jettisoned to get more points back. I'm saving these for later. Well, they're just gonna randomly move. That's kind of annoying. Um. Yeah, let's reshuffle our hand. Getting all of our teleports. I'm gonna say, okay. Okay. That is, that is a good pickup for boss fights. So you're not gonna do anything this turn. I could just leave another gravestone out. Like, where's the, I mean, I guess the downside is if it does get attacked, it makes me kind of sad. You're not attacking above you, right? Yeah, you are. Huh. Feeling pretty good about this. Uh, sure, I'll move down one. Do we have a decent number of zombies? Let's see what she does. She managed to not hit her gravestone, which to me is hilarious. I could teleport in on her, and she's basically dead next turn, depending on what she does. She's still not hitting the Gravestone, which is very hilarious to me. So we could do 4 and 3 damage. She has got 8 health left. Do I want to use an AP move to kill her? I don't think so. I could... triple stomp her if I want to. I'll get greedy. Yeah, so I guess this is them without the Miasma, which is fine. I mean, we've, we beat them with full Miasma, I think, at this point. Oh, you're just dead, right? Oh, you don't automatically attack. That's fair. Boy, would I like to just embarrass you with a quick teleport. But this turn, I can set up. So this would have been my setup turn normally. So we're just gonna hold off. Hopefully we spawn more zombies. Oh, we spawned a lot of zombies. That's perfect, actually. Now I just need to move out of the way. 
Um. Okay. Ah, oh, it's you. You're immune to poison, right? Oh, you aren't. Oh, that's interesting. I got some bad news for you then. So now we just need to draw a million cards. Let's go ahead and do that. Draw another card. Um, we're gonna save that for later. We have our finisher card. If I want to, I could teleport again. Oh, but that kills our gravestone. Hmm. You are actually not going to split? Really? That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Huh. Wow, lower difficulty is hilarious. So he's finally going to split, but it's a bit late for him. I'm like, okay. Oh, that was such a bad position for him. Oh my gosh. Oh my, and I drew energy needle. Oh, come on. Is this just over? Oh, you made such a big mistake. That was foolish. Watch how much damage he's about to take, chat. GG. Bonk. Wow, he lost an entire health bar from that shenan shenanigans. And he's about to lose his health again. Wow, stranger, stranger OP. Listen, Dad, we didn't come in with the Oracle deck, but it's already over, GG. Thank you, Gravestone. I mean, like, you can't do anything. Thanks, Gravestone. You did exactly what I was hoping you would do, which is be our boss finisher. So if we move, we now have two energy gainers I could use on this upcoming enemy, which is not bad if I want to apocalypse them. Oh, it's this thing. It's gonna do some damage to us. Okay. Draw a card. I mean, I guess that's good that we're reshuffling our deck, because we're also kind of not leaving here. We can poison him. He still didn't hit our gravestone, which is hilarious to me. How does how is how is this gravestone surviving everything, chat? Alright, so let's give him the good old poison. I don't think I have a teleport out of here, so I have to just take this damage. I could stack 9 poison on him, which is hilarious. Yeah, I didn't realize this uh, hit the gravestone. I had a feeling it would hit the zombies. I thought the gravestone counted as like a object, like the gizmos. So well, misunderstanding from that. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do to really avoid this damage, so... Unless I like walk up and get AP. I mean, I might as well commit, right? So it's gonna hit me no matter what I do, but I can at least move over here a little more. That kind of worked. Oh, please don't hit the gravestone. That would make me so sad. I don't know what he's gonna do, actually. Let's draw another card. Oh, Angel Champion's a good draw. I could do some damage to him right now, so I will. So this is where that one one of flight card or two of flight cards would be useful. I had a feeling we'd probably fight him eventually. So what would... Just don't honestly know what your attack... Your attack zone is everything. I don't know how to interpret that. So what are you going to do? Yeah, like his entire attack zone was three, but then... I don't know. 
I don't really care about hitting our buddy. Let's poison again. Just so we get consistent damage. I mean, maybe because he's getting damage, he's not able to do the attack. Maybe that's how his gimmick has worked. But because we have poison on him, it's just shutting him down super hard. I mean, that would be hilarious. I'm not going to get closer. I hope our zombie buddies get a little closer at some point, though. Let's seek out my other bishops if I want to. Do I want to? Maybe? Just so I stop drawing them? Yeah, this works. I mean, we got enough poison on him. I think he'll die if I keep bishoping with it. Thank you, zombie buddy. I have no idea how that gravestone has dodged every point of damage, chat, but it is the greatest gravestone of all time. <laughs> like, seriously, it is it has dodged every single attack since I placed it. I don't even need to place the other one. I feel like it'd just be a waste. Oh my gosh, should I go... Do I even do anything? I don't think I do, right? Yeah, I think I just... Just hang out for now. I mean, I think Zombie Buddy's got this. They gotta get through the shield, which is annoying. So as long as we just keep going diagonal of him, he doesn't really ever have an attack that hits us. I need to go there. Like, chat, chat, okay, right? Uh, okay. I mean, this looks like zombie supremacy. Hey, you can charge up all you want. So Poison did, like, half his HP. Or Hinokami. I mean, this just feels like abuse at this point. He still has not figured out that Gravestone. That Gravestone is the MVP, chat. You cannot tell me otherwise. And the more cards I dump into the graveyard, the better it gets. I mean, look at this. <laughs> He's just getting slapped. Yeah, you better shove him away. You're about to get destroyed. Oh, they destroyed the Gravestone. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, that is so sad, chat. That's actually, like, mo big F in the chat for Gravestone. Gravestone was MVP of this run. Although I think Poison might actually legitimately get the kill here. Ow, he set me on fire. That's rude. How rude. Oh, this boss? In this arena? Oh, this is awful. Oh, man. Uh, well, I can't place it near him. What are the odds he's going to put it in a way that's useful to me? I feel like not that heavy. I could draw all my jettisons. It's about what I thought would happen. Let's start wailing on the fist. I don't have anything worth seeking yet. Unless I just really want the jettisons, which technically would give me a lot of AP. Yeah, screw it. Let's get rid of just most of them. We always get the back later. Oh, they're gonna hit the gravestone. And our other character didn't attack for some reason. It's unfortunate. You are gonna slam near us. I don't have to worry about that fist. If we could destroy this fist, we protect the gravestone. Which is actually kind of huge. So I could do... I don't know which one the zombie is gonna target is the problem. Could get rid of Apocalypse. 
need to help me. Give me four AP. Am I still in range of his other slam? I don't think I am if I do that. Okay, let's get rid of Apocalypse. I think I need that. Oh, you had five health. I should have counted. Um... Angel Buddy saved me. Angel Buddy didn't get a turn. Uh, why didn't the Angel Buddy move? That really blows. Thanks, Angel Buddy. I thought you moved when summoned. I guess we learned the hard way. That's not how that works. We could get rid of his fist. He's going to do a lot of damage to me, which really sucks. We can poison him. Probably want to be more like over here, if I can. Angel Buddy did literally nothing. That kind of blows. Well, I think this is GG, because I was expecting him to actually do something and he didn't, so GG. I mean, there's really not much I could do if he just doesn't do anything. Also, the lava never went away, which kind of blows. That's good to know, I guess, for the future. Angel Buddy has betrayed me. You do this. I still don't know why the lava slime will not spawn there. I feel like I'm being cheated a little bit. That's fine. That regen might actually screw me. I drew nothing useful. This might be GG. Yeah, I think this is GG. That's so sad. So now we know, chat. Oracle does not attack on the same turn. So we're just going to reset there. So sad. Okay, so we are going back to back to back, but I'm not burning enough cards for that to be relevant. Why don't I flip something, actually? I want to try something a little different. Let's do... same idea. But what I want to do instead... I want to flip it. Now that I know there's no enemies there. Right, so Morning and Seek is fine. Uh... D-pad, hello. Roller. Oh, okay. Just glitch out. That's fine. So we're going to do the same idea. So I want all my seeks. Nothing changes there. Do I want an exhume, though? I think I do. So if I go with seven jettisons, I can jettison the morning. So now all I need to do is... Load up on as many cards as I can physically carry. So nothing, nothing but the nonsense. Where's my uh, Alpha Stars? I would like some of those. A lot of times I'd be able to take advantage of that. So yeah, I think we had basically everything down. We just got unlucky. There, it was more like if I had realized Oracle would not attack the same turn I summoned it, or if I would realized the Fist had five health instead of four, I think we would have been fine on the other fight. But that caused me to lose my cards. Which meant I ran out of steam, which is unfortunate. So I think I might have been able to salvage it, but that's fine. I'm going to try this strategy instead, since there's no other enemies we have to fight. I was worried we would have to preserve cards, but maybe that's what the ultimate gauntlet is. Do I want anything from this? I find it funny Ancient's Gaze is here. Same target card if able, and then discard it. Because... That's not bad. With, a uh, Oh, we want Teleport for sure. The reason we want this is that it's basically I can exhume Quiet Flutter to get free AP. So it's just like another AP draw. Um... I think we essentially have infinite AP. I'm just thinking if there's anything else that I really need. I think I just need hard draw, right? Should have... Just get more AP gainers. Where's, uh... Oh, it's sorted by newest. I was wondering what was going on. I was getting a little confused. 
Okay, because I am looking for... Where is it? To the vault. We want as many to the vaults as we could get. Um, don't think I need most of these. That dive is okay. We want aerial aces for sure. Teleport to then zip to... Nah, I don't really care about that. Driving slice is okay. It's just free AP. Take like one sharp dash. Killing arrow would help us with the final fight. But we also have like 7 million other abilities. I think I want shock jump for mobility. Anything else I want to do, like, has a good discard effect. Could put a healing card in my deck. If I have 100 cards, I, the odds of me drawing them all are pretty low. So let me put a Replenish in there for a minor heal, and then one brief respite if I'm desperate. Need anything else, though, is the question. Um... Pounce is okay. I'll take a couple of those. So mostly just need to make sure I have card draw. I, I did get some card draw, but I feel like we could have more. There is the draw card stuff that's not precision related. We have Boomerang, so that should help to some extent on some fights. We have... I mean, I did the To the Vault, which is the big one. Hmm. We have a lot of energy gain, but not a ton of card draw. We do have Seeks, though. So if we get a Seek, we could draw out all the rest of our cards, which includes our card draw. Maybe we'll be fine with that? Sadly, I no longer have Summon Buddies, so I have to, like, care <laughs> slightly when we do this. Only slightly, though. Poison 7 is kind of tempting. It actually was decent in that fight. If there's anything else that I really want here. <sighs> yeah, Jutsu sounds really cool, but it's very rare I need to do more than 6 damage. So it's not really going to help me most of the time. Um... I just could, could reduce the number of shurikens I have to two. Draw more AP ups with Ninja Backpack. Do we need anything else? Like like one or two poly hits. And a sharp dash? I wanna see how this deck does comparatively. So I can't run out of cards with how it's set up. So I want to see how this performs comparatively. I imagine this should be very fast. As long as I don't draw super terrible. It should be pretty hard to do. Speaking of which, um... Jeez, chat. <laughs> Just, like, that's, that's a turn. Like, uh, okay. What are you doing this turn? Yes. I mean, do I just one-shot you? Like, what is your counterplay to this? Like right chat, I mean this is just kind of insane. I mean I'm I'm almost I've almost killed him. Yeah, that seemed fair. <laughs> oh Traveler, you're always so dumb. I'm glad you never disappoint me, Traveler. So he's gonna enrage but not do anything. I guess I could get in for some damage. Can we exhume? This card. Oh, it doesn't have a discard effect. I should have done that. And I can keep recasting it. Okay, that's fine. So if I had the... Okay, I misunderstood. I thought it would... Okay, that's fine. We're learning in real time. 
So it, it kind of does what I want it to do, but I need to make sure to combo it with something to make it more useful. Oh, you just hit the whole arena with that because you're enraged. Interesting. And this is fine. We just need to draw an exhum card and we should be good. I mean, that helps. Him. There we go. Restock real quick. Speaking of which... Stock up on him real quick, because he can't move. We should be able to draw our energy card. The odds of us not drawing it are pretty low. So he's going to target there. So I could punish him. So if we... Ex do I want to exhume? He's going to stun me, so I don't want to do anything crazy. But the question is, can I kill him if I exhume this? I don't think I can. If we had one more energy card in hand, I think we could have. Yeah, that's not going to work. Because I don't think I could dodge this. Yeah, that's really difficult. The shuriken only goes in diagonals now, right? Yeah, it only moves in diagonals. Uh, I guess we just let him hit us. Just GG him? Oh. He... Targeted that spot but didn't land in that spot? That was kind of unfair. I know I did not misread that. Uh, let's exhume then. I could just throw this to teleport. I need to. Hit him for five right now. I will. So he's dead next turn, so we just need to draw into something decent here and we should be good. If we draw a Seek here, this would be amazing. Didn't, but that's fine. Let's get more AP. So sadly, we did lose one of our card draw cards, which is sort of my fault, but also not really. Let's try to get a little closer. So you're gonna relocate again, which is annoying. Is lined up with me. I could try to guess where she's gonna go, but I prefer not to do that. Hmm. I'm so sad that we ha that we lost our cards due to stun. So I guess it was a little greedy to go for the other guy. Stroll our other shuriken and then teleport down here. We're now out of shuriken, so we have like a lot of. Hard draw potential. You can't hit me from here, right? Yeah, you can. Uh, I'll just wait over here. If I could just get a turn of her not moving, she's gonna take a lot of damage. It's a good turn of her not moving. Card draw. So anytime we exhume, we have a good chance of getting our AP back. But sadly, we don't have energy or card draw. Okay, we might be able to get what we need back here. If we could draw it. Okay, we're in business again. 
a lot of cards. So I did play for the next boss, which is good. I could jettison a shuriken, because I don't really care about that card. Do I get just give up energy strike? I don't think I do. Let's get rid of Cardinal Shot. A lot of potential damage. Well, I want to back up and pounce is the question. I think I do. So we've almost blitzed her out. We just need to draw into some solid cards for next bout boss, and we should be fine. It's actually a perfect card to draw. We can just get toss the flight card when we're done with it later. We're going through almost a third of our deck. Oh, these enemies don't go away. Oh, I actually have to kill them? Oh. That sucks. <laughs> that's... I don't think that's how that boss battle normally works. Oh, they're gonna move to the next boss regardless. Oh, that really sucks. Oh. I would have done very different things had I realized that. Uh, this got way more annoying than this should be. Hmm. Well, we don't have any projectile cards, which is sad. I have some turns to deal with this. We drew double jettison, which kind of blows. Yeah! Yeah, that kind of sucks, because, like, when you fight these bosses normally, it kills all their adds. You don't have to kill their minion. This is, like, the exception. No, I can jettison out a flight card, but the problem is that these enemies are kind of in the way. So I'm gonna hope that nobody's really targeting me enough for this to matter. So I'm hoping they kill one of the mages for me. Alright, we drew card draw, which is huge. I would like to gain a life here if I can. We're gonna go ahead and jettison flight and probably one of the other jettison. Just discard energy ray if I want to. Yeah, I probably should. Draw some cards. Now I can seek out all my draw cards if I need them. Hmm. Probably. <laughs> right, chat? Like, uh, probably. Now we jettison some of our card draw. There we go. We call this the Great Stabilizer. Now, unfortunately, they're out of range. So if I have a movement ability, I would like to use it now. So you're not in ace range, right? Yeah, you're not. So if I just move slightly without striking, then I should be able to do an insane amount of damage. in melee again. Probably want to jettison some of my card draw again. It's looking pretty good. Wish there's an enemy a little closer. I think I'm going to jettison my shuriken storms and probably just one of these for free because they don't matter. did a lot of damage. I could aerial ace him again. I'd prefer not to. Good card draw off of this, which I think I do want. 
Warning's a pretty good pickup here. Nice, I got another Quiet Flay, which means I can Aerial Ace again if I want to. I probably do. Let's come over here and kill one of these. Uh... Did it six damage off of that? That's not too bad. So we have Aerial Ace to gain Flight again if we need it. I probably want to... Jettison, a sharp dash, and one of our card draws. Okay, that's pretty solid. So I got something to punish one of the upcoming bosses. I could just use this immediately. And because of my curio, I should have infinite cards. I just won't be able to seek the way I want to. I want to hold a seek at some point. So technically, there's still like four or five seeks in the library. I think we've only used three so far. So I'm not feeling super concerned. I just have to think about the order of operations here. I think I need to move over and then aerial ace him again. <laughs> like, I like the options are like, I'm not, it's not that I'm not going to kill him this turn. It's how am I going to kill him this turn? Uh, do I feel like letting him live this turn? He's not going to teleport anywhere, I don't think. Oh, no, he's going to use space mastery. Actually, that will be annoying. Um... I could aerial ace him again. Let's let's draw some cards. Alright, drew some AP boosters. Drew another seek. Oh, if I had one more jettison, that would have been beautiful. Um I could draw AP if I want to. I think I just draw more card draw, right? Eventually, we're gonna run out of cards, allegedly. <laughs> it's like, chat, how many cards am I drawing? Yes, I would like to draw a seek with this if we can, but I don't think it'll happen. Um, Let's use Quiet Flutter. Then we could do damage by coming over here, or I could melee him first into a teleport. Uh, I wish I had more flashes. That would have been amazing. I'm actually low on jettisons, which is a bit sad. If we had one more seek, I could do what I want. I could almost kill him from here. But we're missing, like, the last piece. So, like, if I do this, I don't have enough AP. Just had, like, one way of gaining AP from something other than teleport. I mean, I could use the teleport. I feel like that's a little greedy. Because I could teleport Boomerang, kill him. Feels like a waste. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat? Fine. I guess I'll just one combo the boss. Like, whatever. <laughs> so we just need to teleport out of here. Now we have advantage. So I should be able to teleport... Set up a star, right? And then punish? So this is about as prepped as I could get for this hand. We should spawn, right? And then take the damage? <sighs> Genius level play, chat. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. More AP. More. Give me more power. Come on, draw a Seek. If we draw a Seek, it's over. I know we have a Seek. I have not used them all. Come on, game. There we go. The chat is curious why I was saying that. We could seek out all of our jettisons, which, uh, it's a few. <laughs> so one might say we we might be snowballing a little, a little bit, chat. Just there might be tomfoolery happening. Maybe, just maybe it's happening. 
like to draw some more cards though. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, let's uh, jettison again. Get rid of a morning and uh, get rid of a shuriken storm. Droop Sharp Dash. Uh, we could get rid of that pretty easy, I think. Don't think we'll really miss that. Don't really need Flight. Get rid of that. That card's just dead. Got 7 AP. And I could redraw our. Oh, oh, that is actually disgusting. So if I leave one, I can seek the rest. Maybe I just seek it now. Oh man, chat, we're we're getting a little out of control, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we have some AP gain. We now have something we have a good finisher for this, so we could quiet flutter, gain another AP. Stomp him if I want to, which I do. So in theory, when we run out of cards, it should cycle our entire graveyard, but our hand is so ridiculously busted that I don't think it matters. We've now drawn our entire library. We just drew our seeks. So that means everything is back in the library. So we're going almost infinite again, as a reminder. Like, we're, we're going, like, absolute shenanigans right now. <laughs> oh, man, chat, this is brutal. How much AP am I going to get from this? Man, this, this Traveler is so broken. If chat had any questions as to what the most broken archetype was, it's still Traveler. Wait, does he cap at 9? Wait, is does he honestly cap? <laughs> There's a cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Traveler. <laughs> Look at my hand. How is this fair? Like, what am I doing this turn? Yes, that is what I'm doing this turn. So, I guess I do whatever I want. Just gain AP? Why not? They're in my world now, chat. <laughs> Every time we draw a Seek, it's over. I just want you to know, we, we've assembled the combo. Uh, I just need to melee him once. Then we can... I could heal for a lot of health if I really want to. But as spoilers, I don't. Let's just melee, get an AP point back. It's always fun. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I just draw cards? I think I do. We drew a draw card? Oh, come on. Oh, we even get to heal off of that? That's so hilarious. There you go, chat. Safety health. I drew another to the vault. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How is that how is that fair? Can I just seek out the to the vaults now? Oh, I definitely can, but let's get rid of a couple first. Oh, this is getting out of control. So the odds of drawing another seek are basically a hundred percent at this point. <sighs> yeah, this seems fair. Anyway, I should probably try to beat the boss at some point. <laughs> it's just, I was just having fun going like infinite. It's just, I have so many alpha stars. I don't even know what to say to this. Like, are you guys just dead? Like, do, I don't have to do anything, right? Like, you could just die. <laughs> no mercy, pretty much. I mean, you're, are you even gonna move? I don't think you are, right? So I could just star you as well. And you get a star. You know what? Let's jettison again, because why not? Who cares? We're going in full wacky world, chat. Let's go. So the odds of drawing another seek are decent. Oh, we drew an adrenaline? Oh, that would be something to seek out. Oh, man. Do I... Do I just seek them out right now? I think I do, right? I mean, jettison's good, but this is just free draw. Disgusting.
Oh, is that uh, no mercy? You're close. I mean, chat, can we can we agree? This is convincing. Like, what am I doing this turn? I'm just meleeing no him. Mercy. I don't even have to bother with anything. Let's get rid of all these other. Oh, draw a shuriken. I don't even need it. I could just chuck it if I want to. I have flight, so if I have aerial ace, I could just kill him right now, right? I, was, I gotta do four more damage. Oh, excuse me, chat. I gotta gotta draw gotta, gotta draw some more cards. Hold on. Just uh, don't mind me. So the odds of drawing Seek again are pretty high, and if we don't get it, that's fine. We could get rid of Flight. Do have something to teleport if I want to. I think at this point I probably do. Just, I don't even... I mean, I guess I just come over here to do a little bit of damage. And I got 4 AP. I could probably figure this out. Another free AP. I'm going to keep some of our plus twos. I can move over here and disrespect him. So now he's in kill range. <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what to say to this. Like, our card draw is infinite. I could morning our cards back. I mean, I need to do how much damage? I mean, technically, I did I put a star near him? I don't even remember. I don't think it matters. It's like, what are you doing this turn? Yes. Get rid of one of our basic AP boosts. And just like, just step on him, right? Idiot. I'm playing Traveler now. So... The turn is still going. Because, you know... That seems fair. Uh, let's draw. Let's use morning, I guess. Oh, well, we gotta draw a card. Oh, we got our energy card back. That's actually perfect. Just throw that away again. We don't need that. Uh, let's jettison. What are we never gonna use? Energy needles, free AP for discarding it. So I might as well just throw that away. I don't. I could use it to draw a card. I don't know if I need that many alpha stars. Just throw away shuriken. Sorely shuriken. Um, I suppose I could just end my turn at some point. And replenish our hand and heal, which is hilarious. I think Chad would agree. Me just getting extra cards is so unfair. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just gonna draw five. <laughs> True another seat. Good one. <laughs> Come on. Oh no. Oh no, Chad, it is truly infinite. Oh man. Well, um, no more, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's just—it's just out of control. Chad, help! Stop. This is the Reaper's power. <laughs> this is the Reaper's power. Chad, I'm killing with energy ray. This is so disrespectful. What are they gonna? They can't do anything. I'm gonna draw all my draw cards back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this boss even gonna get a turn? Should I just, like, preemptively, like, alpha star everything? Because I don't think he's getting a turn. Hold on, chat. Hold on. So we discard two of these. So that way we have more energy. And then if we have cards we don't care about. So I can exhume. And then I could just draw over and over again if I want to. Wait. Oh, then discard it, recast. I could just do this to cycle a million cards if I want to. <laughs> um... Oh no. Chat, how many cards are you drawing on this turn? Yes. Is this is this infinite? How is this how is this allowed? Uh, um well chat. Something tells me I'm gonna have whatever cards I need to beat the boss. 
Wow, this is actually just completely broken. I can just draw my entire hand right now. Actually, actually unfair. <laughs> I mean, I should probably leave some cards in library, I guess. I mean... I mean, what do you even say to this? This is just actually infinite. It doesn't cost me any AP. What? <laughs> Why? Why would they let me do this? Well, Chan, if you want to, if you want to clip anything, you just gaze upon my infinite AP and infinite cards. Like, look, look at this. Chan, if I can't one turn this boss, I'm calling shenanigans. Oh, yeah, I've officially ran out of cards to draw. I guess I, I suppose I'll end my turn, question mark. Right? Like, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We put 26 cards back in the library. Hold on a second, Chad. We, we can draw more because this is allowed for some reason. Wow. What, what were they thinking with this card? I thought they didn't want to have infinites in this game. So now I have all the seeks in the world, so I can loop my combo like five times. Actually disgusting. You know what the sad part is, Chad? Eventually I'm gonna draw back into my heal card. You realize I could just end this at full health? Just for max disrespect. Like, I don't need it. But like, I could. My hand is like, unreadable. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm having too much fun now. Like, why am I ever gonna stop? And then if I just discard Energy Ray, I get it back, right? Oh, unless it's unless it's no longer exhumed, which is fair. So, okay, I can't infinite AP that way because I, I drew my cards. I could have. If I had two, I think it's an infinite loop. <laughs> what is that? I mean, we only have 14 cards left in the library, right? I just draw them, I guess? I mean, this is just silly. Why would you allow this? I definitely want to clip this and show this to Kirk later. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be like, you know, we were only playing Mono Color Traveler and we thought it was broken, but uh, just one one drop of Stranger and then suddenly every infinite in the world is open to us. Actually disgusting. Like, did they mean for this to happen? Like, <laughs> I'm just kind of curious now. And the best part is, is like, I could just loop anything that has a discard effect, so I could Mourning Our Graveyard back if I want to. Actually disgusting. So I think we now have officially, we're officially having a 100 card hand? John, I think that deserves a round of applause. Like, how many cards did you draw this turn? Yes. I kind of feel bad for them, but not really. Jeez, where is our card draw even? <laughs> it's almost like the game isn't meant to hold 100 cards at once. <laughs> Gotta be prepared, you're right. Oh, can you imagine if I get stunned? That would be hilarious. If I got stunned, that would be the funniest GG. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, you got me. Oh, chat, look, we ran out of cards. We did it. We're holding our entire our entire library except for one card because we can't draw it because it has to cycle by nature. Holy... Um, I mean, I guess I just, I guess I Adrenaline, then I hilariously draw a card because it's funny. Because I know it's a draw card. And then how much does Respite heal? Is it one per AP or is it two for, oh god, where where is it even? Jeez, Chad, I, I've lost track of where it is. <laughs> Does Chad know where the respite was? It was in here somewhere. It might have been over here somewhere. Here it is. All right, so that is full health. Okay. I, I just wanted to double check. You know. I mean, I guess I just adrenaline up because it's funny. I think he says, gonna help get, get much needed food, but thank you so much for the gift sub. Just show your return favor at some point. No worries about that, Tiggy. We're uh, we're enjoying ourselves for, for the first time in a little bit. <laughs> As you can see, shenanigans have happened. They've happened really, really hard. So I guess I just... 
I guess I just try to place as many of these down as I can, right? Like, what's the downside? And then we... Guess just... Load up the entire area with these, right? Like, I don't think there's a downside to doing this. Um... I could seek one of these cards back. So I could I could burn a little more energy first. How many how many alpha stars did I bring in the deck? I don't remember. There's one, two. So no matter where it spawns, I don't think it matters. Like where are we targeting? And our answer is just simply yes. So that should be good. Then I guess I'll pass the turn, maybe. I don't think there's anything I really want to draw. Yeah, I'm glad I caught most of it. Unfortunately, I, I did have to go at one point. Oh my gosh, game flip. <laughs> oh my god, come on. <laughs> yeah, let's just seek out more energy for next turn. That seems fair. There we go. That seems like a good... <laughs> it feels like I put him in handcuffs. Right, chat? Brutal. Wow, this is... I don't even know what to say, chat. I mean, things are happening. Can I just walk up and melee him? I guess at some point I need to throw a boomerang, to be fair. So I need to actually legitimately move at some point. Let's quiet flutter. Funny enough, I don't even think I want to stealth hit him. I think I just want a boomerang, right? I think I do. Oh no. oh no, we got Conferred to Chaos again. Oh no, this is doing so much damage, chat. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're having our ultimate revenge right now. Oh, of course we're gonna draw Seek. I think it's impossible not to draw Seek at this point. I could just get more energy if I need it. In fact, I could just draw more boomerangs. Oh, I still have other boomerangs in my hand somewhere. I guess I should use those up first, I guess. <laughs> right, chat? Like, whatever. Thank you, Boomerang. <laughs> I mean, do I even need to change anything about this deck? It just goes infinite, right? Like, it just, like you can't really beat infinite? I mean, this is just ridiculous. I guess I could get rid of Take Off. I guess. I mean, seven Quiet Flutters is probably fine. I would have liked to have had a Flash in there instead, just for more AP. I don't really need Sharp Dash. See, so, uh, I mean, I don't even need to use, like, Hard Restore or Healing, because effectively I have infinite healing whenever I want. So many cards. Can I kill him with Energy Needle? That would just be so shameful. Can I please kill him with that? Yeah, there we go, chat. Yeah. Killed with the weakest attack in the game. Got him. Yeah, damn right there's not another turn. <laughs> well, chat, needless to say, I think we found what deck I want to use for the, the true run. Yeah, I, I would hope I get some rewards for that. That was convincing. Gladiator completed a boss rush. I mean, I, I guess you could call it that. It was like a boss massacre. Okay, are we going to get any new cards whatsoever? I kind of doubt it. Oh, we got another flash. Oh, that's actually sick. Wait a minute. That's actually huge. Get rid of a takeoff for a flash. So we have another AP gainer. That's a full screen teleport. It's okay to shake your head, chat. It is, um... It is super, super, super over. Where is Takeoff? There it is. Get rid of one of those, and I would eventually get rid of all of them. I do want to have, like, Extra Flight, just because it is useful to Aerial Ace. Like, that is our 10 damage move. And we'll just, uh... Get a, get a good old full screen teleport that gains AP. So having two of those kind of ups the consistency. So we're going to save our best deck. Let's be honest, Chad. We are we are really not topping this deck. 
So sorry, random red cards that I don't care about. You can just go away. Check my head times infinite, something like that. Oops. So that was easily done dealt with. So as soon as we get Confer to Chaos, it's over. As long as I have the draw seven card in my hand, I have infinite cards with our setup. So kind of okay with that. What's the boss rest plush? Is it just them with Miasma? I mean, I don't think it makes that much of a bit of difference. Well, Kirk, you unfortunately missed one of the most one-sided boss whooping of all time. <laughs> but maybe we'll be able to replicate it again. It was, uh... It, it was decisive, Kirk. <laughs> we had infinite AP, infinite cards. I drew my entire deck. It was over. <laughs> just... It was- it was actually over. Oh, you're starting with this boss. Oh, that doesn't give me a lot of setup time. Oh, I might- oh, I didn't draw any card draw either. That blows. Oh, this is actually really annoying. We didn't draw any of our card draw. Do I just quit the run? Because I didn't draw a card draw. Honestly, I think I just quit. I don't even think I bother playing it out. I don't think I bother. If we don't draw a card draw, there's no point. I wish we had our hand when we we're in the previous room, so that way I could go through and do that. But yeah, I don't really want to play without card draw. Oh, speaking of which. Start a turn plus one AP, charge, skip turn with more than one AP or trigger patience. That's not too bad. So we have one last curio in the overworld to get? Huh. <laughs> we beat the video game. Yeah, it's like, I, it, you can't really top infinite cards, infinite AP, you draw your library. Just, I need a draw card. Um... I guess... I guess... It's technically a card draw. <laughs> right, chat? Like, it, it's technically card draw. I'll deal with this. We need to draw something stronger, though. Okay, that's promising. So Boomerang will get us there. Boomerang the savior. We need another Seek, and then I think it's over. Wait. <laughs> he couldn't He couldn't turn me to stone because I had too much HP? That's actually hilarious. Get wrecked, idiot. We drew another Seek. We're so close, Chad. We're like, we just need, oh, we just need one more card. Oh, how greedy do I get for it though? That's the question. Oh, if we draw, if we draw the, we need Confer to Chaos. So I want to hold on to one Seek, but it might be worth, might be worth using this. Okay, so I could do 10 damage right now if I want to. How greedy do I get? Oh, you're not even going to do anything this turn? Oh, I'm going to go greedy then. Let's go greedier. I'd like to draw into the combo. So we've drawn a quarter of our deck. The boss health is hilariously terrible. Oh, we drew another Seek? Okay, now I can afford to burn it on something. I wish we had just standard card draw. So we're gonna seek out, let's say all of our energy boosts. And then I'm gonna seek out maybe the remainder of our boomerangs. Hmm. We draw all of our mornings out of the deck. It would potentially work. Then we just need to draw Jettison and we're fine. I think this will also work. Let's go for that. So we're, we're drawing cards out of the deck, so I will increase the odds of me getting the combo. And then I just flick this out of many dies. Wait, what? He just starts with it. Oh, that's annoying. Three egg zoom. Why? 
Why did that say 3 AP for a second there? That looked glitchy. Alright, so we're gonna draw basically Boomerang, which I kind of won. Alright. Let's get out of here. Huh. Makes it kind of annoying if they're able to do stuff like that. We still need card draw, though. So we, we need these boomerangs to actually do something. Let's quiet Flutter, because it's free AP. Then I need to probably scream and shout and let it all out. We're gonna get card draw. Okay, this- okay, we're almost there. We have half the combo. We just need to draw a little better here. We're gonna put that in the grave and see if we draw again. Okay, we drew a plus two energy, so we basically went up for using it, so we're gonna use it again. Let's use this again. We drew our boomerang back, which is good. Now we can draw cards. So you can see why I wanted to draw the boomerang chat. I hope it, hope it, it now makes sense why I picked that over our other combo piece. So now I'm drawing cards, two at a time. We're getting through our deck. They're getting absolutely styled on. We're going to take this opportunity to Mourning. Draw our Boomerang back again, which is good. Let's go for another Energy Boost. Let's hopefully Mourning into both of those. Uh, well, Quiet Flutter's okay. So we have a lot of energy. We've killed basically the boss. I have Aerial Ace as a finisher, which is okay. But we don't hit enough targets. We could draw cards again, which is a bit sad. Like, I think Kirk can agree this is pretty, pretty unfair. We're just one-turning them. We still have some card draw. I'm thinking about if I want to draw five here. I think I do. I think the odds of us hitting another draw five are pretty decent. Okay, we drew another draw five, we drew a second draw five, so I think we're gonna draw five again. Oh boy. Uh, we're just gonna teleport out of here and try to get card advantage. Now we just see- where's our jettisons? We're just missing jettison, I think? I could morning to draw our combo back. Because it's not a bad idea. We got turns to waste. If we draw energy from this, this is huge. Boomerang's fine as well. We drew energy. That's perfect. Um. I guess I just do it again? How many energies do I have in the graveyard? One, two. Two boomerangs, two energies. I think that's worth going for. Oh, we drew a draw five. That's actually perfect. So we want to keep one for later. So we're going to draw another five. So now the odds of us drawing the thing that we won is pretty good. We're going to choose to draw five again. We need another Seek and we need Confer to Chaos. Although, oh, there's a Seek. Oh, where's Confer to Chaos? And we got a Jettison. Yo, you think you're getting a turn? <laughs> right, chat? Like, <laughs> like, are you being done with me? Oh, we're definitely getting our jettisons. So we drew six jettisons out of the library, which is huge. I can seek again. Oh, do I not have another seek? I thought I did. I don't think that really changes what I'm going to do, though. Uh, Let's burn some energy. I think I'm going to draw five with this, though. Come on, another Seek. No more AP gain. No more card draw. Let's fly. Uh, then we're going to, I guess, energy up. I'm going to Quiet Flutter. 
Not okay, says Kirk. Yeah, we could do basically anything we want. We don't have our combo finishers. So we ran out of card draw. We have one draw five. I could try to replenish, but until we get an enemy that allows us to hit multiple times, we don't have a good card draw here, sadly. So we might have to jettison our jettisons. Let's see. Oh, she keeps healing. Oh, so she does have full gimmicks now. Hmm. That just make it more considerably annoying to kill her. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. It's just more annoying. <laughs> Alright, chat, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete you. Oh, I only have one more aerial ace. Hmm. I could build up AP and then pounce her. Might have to. Draw another card. Come on, draw something good. Uh, that's okay. Let's get rid of the card. Oh, I never used a shuriken. Can I just throw a shuriken right now? Did we draw did we draw the shuriken or no? I don't see it if we did. That's unfortunate. Uh could do this just to gain AP. So I will. So she heals one every time she gets hit. We can pounce right now for six. I could kill her with Aerial Ace right now if I want to. Stealth will save us some AP. We can jettison a basically our entire hand, but we, we're... It puts us in kind of a weird position. Hmm. Pounce will deal... We just need to get one more AP. Oh, never mind. So we're going to draw the Shuriken for later. And we're going to draw another free AP boost. Just assassinate her with pounce, because life is unfair. Yeah, you're not getting a turn. Get out of here. So now we need to make sure that we draw something interesting here. So we're going to try to draw five. Which is a bit risky, but we don't have anything else to draw. Oh, we had a seek. Oh my gosh, we got bailed so hard by that chat. You have no idea how hard that was and clutch that was. Oh, that saved our combo. That draw one became draw 20 chat. Like that was super, super important. We hit that. All right, we're now effectively infinite. Uh, is there anything else I want to cycle? I guess I could pull our adrenalines back out. So yeah, we have infinite turns, essentially. It doesn't really matter what they try to do here. I can jettison basically everything else for free points. Doesn't matter. Let's draw some more cards. So we should be able to go infinite now. I mean, we're we're effectively infinite, but we could be literally infinite. We're getting close. Uh, let me energy just to draw another card, because it's funny. Okay, we drew the other shuriken. It's okay. Uh, I would like to just alpha star where you might spawn. Could save us some time later. Um, do I want to do anything else? think so. I mean, I try putting another one down just in case. I mean, are you even going to move this turn? Oh, you're going to teleport. Yeah, I don't think we can allow that, chat. I think we're, we're just going to straight up ban that. We're going to wave our finger and go, uh, uh, uh. Come on, where's Confer Chaos? There it is. So now we could go infinite anytime that I want. So, I guess... Try to get more energy back in first. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> right, chat? Uh-oh. It begins. So if you don't understand what's happening, we pick a card, we discard it, and then we draw it from the graveyard. But the problem is... If at any point I run out of cards in the library, I move the graveyard back to the library. So... I'm gonna just go ahead and draw my deck again. <laughs> With however many cards we have. We're demonstrating the infinite to Kirk. We're proving that it could be done. We're gonna put our card back in the graveyard, which is fine. And we're gonna go ahead and put the card back in the graveyard again. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the card back in the graveyard again. And we're just gonna go ahead and put that card back in the graveyard again. And then... <laughs> right, chat? Like... Yeah, there we go. Hey, look, it's all of our uh, draw cards. They're all at the beginning. How convenient. So, I don't know what the intent of this card was, but I can tell you how I'm always going to use it from now on. So, I think in theory, it would allow us to infinitely get AP this way as well. If the, if the discard effect is AP. I think that'll work. So we can now redraw all of our Seeks, we can redraw all of our Mornings. So it should be pretty much literally impossible to not combo, because I have like a million ways to fix it if I mess it up. And we basically can't ever run out of energy boosters now. So we're, we have, I think, nine... Where's it? Seven. I think we have seven, two AP ups. We have seven, one AP ups from Quiet Flutter. We'll have, I think, seven Ninja Backpacks or something like that. So we effectively could just do the boss's health anytime that we want. Like, we, he, the boss is in our world now. I'm no longer playing by the rules of the game. Like, I'm just generating cards from thin air, including cards that are normally not retrievable from your graveyard. Because normally things like Seek are just gone forever. So I, all those Seeks mean that if somehow I use, let's say, six out of seven double APs in a combo, I could just seek out another six from the graveyard and start again. So I effectively have like 60 plus energy and that doesn't include the demonstrated infinite. That's just purely if I were to use those in my seeks. So we're just going to go ahead and draw our deck. <laughs> I know Kirk is witnessing this and going, why does, why does Raider exist? <laughs> right, Kirk? It's okay, Kirk. Okay, we got rid of our Confer to Chaos, which we could draw back at any time that we want, by the way. Um... I guess if we build up our AP, I guess I'll jettison... I don't know, maybe some Shurikens? I don't really care about those cards. Get rid of Regular Flight. It's an often spoke question. I, I don't know why Raider exists. I mean, Traveler clearly does Raider better. I have infinite AP, infinite movement, infinite card draw. Why would I play Raider? So we're going to go ahead and burn some of our AP ups. So if I want to, I could just draw the cards again. Um, so we're going to go put ourselves at 9 AP. I forget how many pounces I put in the deck, to be honest with you. We'll find out eventually. I probably should have put a third pounce in the deck. I think we might only have two or something. I think that was... I didn't really think about restructuring our deck once we discovered the infinite, but I think that would technically be more effective. It would be like Aerial Ace, an alternative to Aerial Ace. So yeah, at this point we could do whatever we want. I could just draw cards if I want to. I could jettison random cards, because why not? Actually, hold on. You have six health left? Oh, you got some health. Um, Sure, you know what? I'm going to Sharp Dash through here. Just so I'm in range of a pounce or something fun. The quiet flutter. The, 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 the aerial ace. I guess I could seek out our aerial aces again just to draw them. I got nothing better to do. We have like 4 AP. I don't need that much. Let's just draw our like damage cards from the grave. Oh, I could draw a back quiet flutter. That would also be useful. 
I only put two in the grave so far. Never mind, I don't need to do that. Wait, how much health do you have? Oh, you're just dead. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, chat. We don't even need to use pounds. Silly me. Uh, I guess I'll draw. Do I feel like just discarding a card randomly? Because it's funny. Uh... Eh, you know what? I'll hold my turn. It'll be fine. Like how this epic boss music is playing and chat knows what's gonna happen. Chat's like, no boss, run! You don't understand. It's it's never your turn. You enter only to die. So remember, every one of these seeks draws our AP gain again. And if I really need AP gain again, we can also use Morning to draw our AP again. So we we truly have like nearly infinite AP. It just really depends on what I feel like doing. I could have used Alpha Star to speed it up, I guess. Should probably do that next time. Okay, so just need to make sure we have more of the double AP. So we got two more here. Oh, did I use the other ones already? Huh. We use one more. <laughs> right, chat? Like, oh, oh, golly gee, chat. I just need to draw more AP. Alright, let's use Seek to uh, draw Adrenaline back out. We have a million of them. I don't need to be remotely f efficient in this combo. Where is it at? There we go. Just come back in our hand. It's fine. Chat's just kind of like, my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do they even do? Just gonna get stomped again. And I can search out our aer aerial aces again if I need them. Your shields mean nothing to me, fool. Go ahead, get mad. Watch what happens. Nothing. That's what's gonna happen. I guess I could seek out my aerial aces again. You know, just in case we don't have enough damage for the boss. Um, do I want to reset my graveyard is the question. I guess I could just blink. That's kind of fun. There you go, Kirk. You like that full screen teleport that gives you AP? <laughs> I mean, do I just disrespect him at this point? I'm thinking about it. I have a million things to jettison if I want to. I could draw my last card in library, which is funny. Yeah, let's do that. Cloak. That'll put our graveyard in there. And then I can draw five. And we can get our flight back. An aerial ace. <laughs> Chat, there is no next turn. <laughs> Poor boss. I love how the game is like, please end your turn, I beg of you. And I'm like, fine, I guess I'll draw more cards. <laughs> okay, question, question, question. If I do this... Oh, it is infinite AP. Oh, that's disgusting. Why would they do this? Chat, no. <laughs> no. Traveler, no! You're too powerful! Nerf Traveler! <laughs> oh no! Oh man! I have so many ways to get AP back, it's insane! All I gotta do is draw five cards? Okay, I mean... Sure? <laughs> what can they do? I'm, I'm now literally infinite. No exaggeration, it is actually over. Um, I guess I'll teleport because it's funny. I gain AP, because why not? Light Flutter, why not? Where's our uh, Alpha Stars? Just wanna just, just wanna throw them all out, why not? So many jettisons that I, 
See, the jettisons are there to, like, help me when I get, like, part of the combo going. I could technically go down, like, a jettison. I wish I had more card draw, to be honest with you. The <laughs> Kirk's, like, not okay. Yeah, see, the boss music's playing, but, <laughs> but, but not for me. <laughs> or not for them, I mean. Oh, man. This is just... I mean... I think the boss will probably spawn in there, right? At some point? Which makes Alpha Star, like, insanely powerful. Why not, Chad? Just, just form little... Little pretty patterns. <laughs> the boss will probably spawn in there, right? I can go ahead and draw a card and heal, because it's funny. There we go. We drew a draw five. Oh, the boss... Oh, look, Chad, it's the boss. I mean, does it even matter what you do? You can't ever hit me, right? I mean, I have to be asleep at the wheel to take damage at this point. Bonk. Oh, if only I could get through immunity. If there's a card that removes immunity, it is just... If, if it's in Traveler, it's over. Fine, I'll go I'll go wait on my turn. Of all this AP I can't use. What a jerk. Fine, I'll just draw my infinite card draw card again. Hope you're happy, game. Oh no, chat, he summoned something. However will I be able to deal with him? If only there was a way, chat. If only I had a card that would potentially deal with him. If only I could draw it. Now I feel like I'm being disrespectful to his summons. It's poor boss, chat. I mean, I could just choose how he dies, right? Like, I don't have to do anything special. We're kind of going in the I dare you to do something category right now. Alright, so what are you actually doing this turn? Okay, I gotta move two spaces. Sure. Right, chat? Like, okay. You can keep last all you want. I'm out of range. Just get completely outplayed. GG. Take your damage. Go ahead, heal up. I don't care. <laughs> right, chat? Like, who cares? Go ahead, heal up. Let's seek out our energy gain, because it's funny. Oh, let's energy gain first, because that's funnier. Just remember, Chad, I have effectively infinite whatever I want. Blue Donna's like, what is that? I know Blue Donna. It's called Traveler Stranger Supremacy. You know what? I could just teleport on the other side of this and just not deal with this at all. If I go on his far left, I don't think he could do anything to me, right? Yeah, I don't think he can. We're just gonna go ahead and just slap him, because it's funny. Like, I do whatever I want. I guess I could remove Cardinal Jump, I guess. Make our combos more consistent. I mean, I think Shock Jump is important. I don't know if Shuriken Storm is important. I might trim a little bit. So it might actually be worth trimming some cards. Surprisingly. So we'll, we'll go 100. We'll trim like 10 of the cards that we don't need so we get the combo more consistently. And uh, where's my full screen teleport? I know it's in here somewhere. I didn't use it yet. Oh, we could do this on him first. That'll teach him. Oh, where's my full screen teleport? I have two in the deck. Did I use both of them? I thought I just used one. Oh, you're gonna make me you're gonna make me move normally? Ugh, disgusting. Oh there it is, never mind. <laughs> right, chat just like, we're just gonna nod our head. Like, yeah, go ahead, just it's fine. Draw some cards. Oh, we draw our other card back. That's always fun. I 
We gotta burn our AP somehow. Oh, you know what would be mad disrespectful, actually? Just thought about it. Hold on, chat. We're gonna do the ultimate disrespect. And burn some of these cards first. Where are you targeting this turn? Upper left. <laughs> Gonna do one that's over there. See, now now this is borderline petty. Chat, can we agree? We're now just going petty on the boss. <laughs> like, I don't have to do any of this, but, you know, I could just tell him no. Like, just check me. Just GG. I've already thought of that one, too. Do I have another star? Do I not? Just need one more. Oh, that's so sad. I gotta draw cards. Give me a second. Draw our draw cards. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think this is about as disrespectful as I can get. I mean, I could draw a card with this card. That's pretty disrespectful. I don't even need it. Now that, that was, that was petty. <laughs> Right, chat? That was the definition of petty. Well, I can't hit him this turn, so I might as well just teleport, right? So even if Black Hole moves me, I shouldn't be a range of anything? Hopefully? I threw the teleport again? That's hilarious. Anyway, we disabled this entire gimmick. Oh, so he did move me over a little bit. That's fair. I don't think that changes anything, though. Alright, so he dodged it. Whatever. Hmm. Let's use some energy ups real quick. I think that's faster than using the infinite. We'll try to respect the viewer's time a little bit. Only a little bit, though. throw some boomerangs at him rather than charge at him. I don't know where Rampage is. It's somewhere in the deck. I'll get rid of Cardinal Shot for Rampage, maybe, just to add consistency to our kills. As we effectively have infinite. Oh, there it is. Well, too late now, though. Um... Sure, let's go ahead and use Shuriken, because it's funny. He's immune again. What are you doing this turn? Uh, so if I go in the bottom corners, he can't do anything to me? Huh. <laughs> right now, <laughs> like, I, I don't even know what to say. I just kind of feel bad for him now. I mean, we should always be able to just draw into our draws at this point. We don't have enough cards in the graveyard. So in theory, I could really trim a lot of cards from our deck. Like, get rid of the shuriken storms and everything else. To go from, like, 100 down to, like, 70. So that way we are way more likely to draw 5 and to draw 5. Because, I mean, you can see what happens when it gets going. Like, it is useful to have Boomerang, so I'm never getting rid of that. And I think Aerial Ace is a good finisher. I don't know if we need another finisher, honestly, if we have infinite card draw. So I might trim a little bit after this. Alright, uh, so you, you effectively can't touch me, right? Okay. He rooted his frogs in place. Well, I got really bad news for him. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over here. Goodbye. So we just had a flawless victory on three of the bosses, I think, in a row. That's kind of brutal. <laughs> Look how much reward we got. Yeah, chat, the game's over. <laughs> chat, pack your bags. <laughs> Dude, that was so much money. That was not earned.
We'll open the, the boosters, I guess. Anyway, are we gonna get any fun cards in here? Oh, new card. We got a, we got a foil soul card that I'll never use. We got more adrenalines, which is hilarious. Enlighten's always fun, but we were already capped. Eruption's not bad. Sound the horn's okay. Echo, ooh, Echo only being one is pretty huge. That helps with like Oracle dips. That's actually, that's actually really good. I like that that's just a one ranker. So that helps with the Oracle Splash late game. <laughs> I love how everything is just gems. I mean, is there anything else for me to even do at this point? I don't think so, right? We're just waiting for that guy to come back. I guess I could see if the store upgraded here real quick before we try the final challenge. What are we doing on time? Oh, it's not even 10 o'clock. Devastating. <laughs> Chat, is there anything we have not purchased? Just... Gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and cap that real quick. <laughs> right? Like, I might as well just purchase it all, right? Why not? Let's just go... Let's go buy every card. Since we're done with the game, effectively. We got one challenge left. In, in very loose quotations. I mean, I should have enough money to just do this. With a lot of money we received there. Even if I'll never use them, I can say, you know what? We maxed. I don't think I've ever used Potent Hex. I had a surprising amount of cash cards I never maxed. And no one surprised Raider is missing a lot. Right, chat? That's that's the least surprising thing. That's like saying water is wet. Raider's not maxed. I mean, we're getting there. What do you think, chat? Is this fair? I think this is fair. Still got a decent amount of cash left. I'm surprised I stuff things in Traveler not capped. I'm getting lower on cash. I expected a lot. Oh, Aerial Ace. That's a fun one. I expected a lot more Gemstone ones, to be honest, but that's fine. We're gonna see if I could do it. We're on the final arch type. I should be able to. That way I can't complain about not having certain cards. We're gonna salute our money, which has no more purpose to my knowledge. We still have a decent amount if we need to upgrade boosters or whatever. We can still enter tournaments. We've officially maxed everything possible. We still have 275 green gems. Is there anything else I could do in here real quick? That'll, co that'll consume a lot of our cash. Probably a little bit of everything. Alright. We did manage to purchase everything. And still had an okay amount of cash left over. It's probably enough to do some tournaments. Oh wait, what was Kaleidoscope? I don't remember that one. Wait a minute. Is that a new rune? Multicolored rune that is attuned to every archetype, those that equip it become marked for death. Oh. And we have one rune slot we don't have yet, which I'm assuming is involving the side quests. But we have everything else. But I think chat can agree. Uh, yeah, our deck is a little, little bonkers. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of these. Let's trim it down a little bit. I don't need this many shock jumps. 
We'll trim a few jettisons. Get rid of Sharp Dash. Get rid of Shuriken Storm. Get rid of regular Shuriken. Put a couple of pounces back in. Um. We trim 17 cards. Is there anything else I want to trim a little further? Aerial Ace is not bad. I might put two more in the deck. Then I'll get rid of Driving Slices, because I don't really need AP. I'll leave an A Cardinal Shot, so I have a Disjointed Attack. Five Jettisons is probably fine. Don't think I need Rain Down, because we have Infinite. We could get rid of Take Off. So we trim 20 cards. So we should, in theory, be way more effective at drawing. I technically don't need Replenish. I want to keep our Brief Respite for healing. We need just one energy card, and that's fine. Energy Needle is a damage and a draw and an AP, so I'm going to keep it. In fact, can I put more of those in there? Because it's just draw one most of the time. Do I have any more is the question. I have one more. So I don't mind putting one up in Energy Needle, because that's a draw card. So it just lets me kind of get there more consistently. Seven Alpha Star is a bit excessive. I might drain it down to five. So I'm less likely to brick with it. Seven Boomerang is 100% needed because that's draw two and that gets our engine going. I think that's fine. I in theory get rid of more shock jumps. Yeah, let's just keep it two. So we got rid of 25 cards. We have five cards that draw five. So we could draw basically a third of our deck. So this should lead to more cycling, which should lead to consistency. So we have basically improved our chances by over 25% on most cards. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we need more finishers with pounce. And I think having seven aerial aces is fine. Because that means we have more to draw out of the deck with Seek. We'll give this a shot. I don't see a, a situation where I need seven Alpha Stars, honestly. So I think going down two there does not hurt us in the slightest. The most I ever need is three, realistically. Or five if I really don't understand where to aim it. So no, nothing over there. So let's do the final challenge. And then I think we'll take a break. So we've completed everything else to my knowledge. We did the draft boosters. I believe of every difficulty. Sure, let's see what the last gauntlet's about. So again, we're gonna more likely than not draw our combo. Let's draw more energy. Chat, we're already off to a good start. I think you would agree. We drew another Seek, so you know what that means. I can Seek more cards. That's like another draw five while drawing five, which is hilarious. And I guess I'll jettison... Actually, probably not jettison anything yet. Let's go ahead and just energy up. Let's try to damage the room a little bit. I'm gonna take some damage here, which kind of sucks. Alright, we drew a boost, which is good. Like a little more damaging options here. I wish we had energy ray. I'd be super happy if we had it here. Alright, we got another seek, so I can draw out more energy if I need it. So I think I do. Let's go ahead and energy up. Or I could just draw... Nah, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. So now, if I use this... I could try to Mourning our cards back. So you can see our card draw went a little out of control. So I think if we re remove maybe five more cards, we might be good. But I think the consistency is already basically there. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Oh, we should actually draw five again. That would be the most optimal play here. 
Because the Seeks would basically count as drawing another draw five. So the odds of hitting that is pretty good. So in 25 cards, the odds of us not hitting a uh, 14 out of the remaining cards of 75 is pretty low to not hit that with that many card draws. So we're effectively infinite now. We just we just made the com combo more efficient. Uh, I do need to energy boost though. I'm gonna go ahead and seek it out. Oh, did I draw them back at some point? Oh, I did. Come on. I like how the the enemies are just patiently waiting for me to take my turn, and I'm like, you don't understand. I'm trying to go infinite. See, so yeah, I think it's important to have the seven energy AP twos. I might be able to get away with like five more cards trimmed. I definitely need Respite for when we get injured by stupid damage. Oh, no regrets there. I guess we'll... get free AP, because it's hilarious. We drew more Pounces, so more likely to get my kill combo. I'm happy we put those in the deck, because I could just do this. See, we just kind of maul them instantly. There's not much they could do about this. Alright, so I could go infinite now if I want to with anything. But uh, I don't think we need to worry about that. We don't even need the card that makes us go infinite to do it. Which is kind of funny. So yeah, we, effect we effectively have a I instantly win the game deck and there is nothing the game could do to stop me at this point. We don't have enough cards to stop me from just looping this forever. And now that we have less jettisons, it means I can m get rid of our mornings just to draw more cards back in our hand. So we're more likely to draw our combo pieces or things like Aerial Ace, which is fine. So we have we at least have like fodder for jettisons, so we could just get our combo back free. So I think that mostly pays off because we can discard up to ten cards, and there's about twelve or so we could get rid of if we want to. Do this in the opposite order. Let's get rid of the morning so that I can draw two. We drew another pounce, which is perfect. One, two, three. So, yeah, I, I now have the ability to full heal whenever I want. So unless there's something that gets rid of our cards permanently, I don't think I really care. Like, if there was the equivalency of Exhaust and Slay the Spire, I would be in, like, full panic mode with how fragile the combo would be. But we don't have to worry about that. So I effectively have infinite card draw now. We just need to draw more cards. Yeah. Light Flitter, I think, is a perfect AP booster. Could even technically get rid of Energy Needle. Maybe it's worth it. I definitely think we need Alpha Star for bosses. Not sure if I need Cardinal Shot. I could trim like a couple cards here and there. And let's use a Respite here. So we have just a one of fun of because I don't need to draw it consistently. And full heal. Uh, do we have a pounce? Yes, it will. Heal as well. It's like one shy. So sad. If only we had a way to add more energy to our pounds. <laughs> right, chat? See, there we go. Now we're now we're getting the consistency. We need things like Boomerang to get rid of annoying enemies like this. There's no regrets about this. We need that for sure. Draw our energy cards back. Again, I think this is faster than doing the normal combo, so I'm just gonna burn what I can here. Burning our cards back, so I might get energy gain again. Oh, we got our healing card, nice. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Now we just need a teleport, which we should have. 
Which, keep in mind, gives us AP. An energy needle, just draw a card, because it's funny and disrespectful. Let's draw five. actually unfair. Let's walk up and melee you. Yeah, we can. It's like, how many cards would you like in your hand? And then we just say yes. Right, chat? So yeah, we, by trimming 20 cards, I think we added a pretty good consistency to it. I still have some ranged options in case I do have to kind of damage the enemy that way. It's nice. Oh, that is actually insane. So getting rid of some jettisons I think made sense. I might even go down a couple more jettisons just so we draw into our combo more consistently. Um. Draw cards so I don't have to find them later. Perfect. Disrespectfully draw a card. Boomerang, because it's funny. We're in our remaining turns drawing cards so I don't have to do this in combat later. We now have our entire deck in our hands, so I think we should be good. Ah. So we, we basically have now put the game on easy mode, but you know what? We beat the game already. We don't have to play by any rules anymore. We're not governed by fairness. As Kirk said it much earlier. Challenge, ha. Huh? Very accurate. So yeah, we could just continue to refine it down to like the bare minimum. But I, I think we have demonstrated the unfairness of this. You know what's hilarious? I still might, might, I might use this for navigation. But I think we should have the teleport still. It's just so ridiculously good. I like that now that we have a small amount of cards, it's easier to loot it. So yeah, we might trim it down to like 60. Because then the odds of us not drawing 5 are pretty low. We could get rid of some of the fluff cards. But I think this is a good attempt at trimming. Cutting the deck down by 25% is a pretty big uh, improvement. But essentially here we have an infinite that, because I'm not using that many cards to begin with, if I keep drawing, I'm going to draw into something that gives me AP. And we'll redraw our draw cards. Though I know that this will be faster than our other demonstrated infinite. So there's our efficiency there for helping the chat not waste as much time. So we kind of have like it down to exactly what I want. I could just redraw our boomerang again. That puts our teleport back here. Pretty good. So yeah, I think we could afford to trim it maybe down to 50. Now that I see that we honestly only really need Boomerang. I mean, Pounce is also good for a finisher, don't get me wrong. I still want a couple Pounces for reposition reasons, in case we don't draw the combo. Because there, there is still a chance we don't draw the combo, even with all the draw cards. Unless we go down to... what would be the minimum? Maybe if, if 40's allowed, maybe we would be able to always go infinite? Because we need 7 Seek, 7 Draw. 7 Boomerang, 7 Quiet Flutter, some amount of Aerial Ace, some amount of Boomerang. Technically could even cut Jettison at that point. I'll think about it. But anyway, we're not here to worry about being hyper-optimal yet. We're not at that point. We've now just experienced the beauty 
of chaining abilities like this. from there. Uh, so now we effectively have the infinite. Maybe we only need about five boomerangs. We could trim it a little bit. So I could remove the jettisons remove some of the boomerangs. I could get rid of some of the pounces. I could get down to one pounce if I want to. So there's ways I can probably get down to 60 without too much of a hassle. Get rid of some energy needles. So I think chat would agree it's going pretty fast now. Like now that I understand the infinite a little more. We're clearing at a pretty decent pace. Oh. Oh, that was it? That was the challenge? <laughs> chat, chat, oh. W was that a challenge? Um, sure. I thought that would be much longer, chat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was gonna be... I thought we were gonna go on multi-floors. We completed the card encyclopedia. We officially have every card in the game now, chat. We did it. What did we just get? Monk Insight, copy premonitions for each word card. Oh, I got the payoffs for the other one. Interesting. Got Shinobi Step. Oh, okay, those were kind of fun. Too bad they cost two a uh, stranger. There's no reason for me having them. Click two damage in an area for each oracle card in hand. Copy an oracle card from library for each raider card in hand. Oh, you think I'm going to play raider? Oh, that's cute, chat. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> right, chat? I'm not playing raider. Silly game. <laughs> the moment we have any doubts towards whether Traveler is the top tier one, let's kind of do that. Anyway, let's get rid of some cards. We don't need cardinal shot. Let's get rid of Shock Jump altogether. I'm gonna see if we could get rid of Jettison. I'm gonna go down a single pounce. Go down two Aerial Aces. Actually, go down three. Go down three Boomerangs. We're now down to 60 cards. Could just get rid of our Energy Needles, which I think I will. We're down to 56 cards with, like, barely anything. Convert a Chaos just means if we have the card in hand, it's infinite. So if we have Convert a Chaos with double draw five, we also just go infinite. Uh, we need Quiet Flutter, because that's infinite AP. We Brief Respite, one of, fun of. We could get rid of another Pounce to make it 55. So we've now gone from 100 cards in hand down to just 55. And one of them heals us. So I have four boomerangs, five alpha stars. That's probably fine. As I said before, I can even trim this down pretty significantly. Because this card is also kind of dead in our hand most of the time. So let's trim it down to three. And then... Get rid of another pounce. Two aerial aces? I don't need that many finishers. I just need to draw into our cards. So we've now half the deck size. So I'm sure chat will agree, like, does not matter in the slightest. So we've now added a ton of consistency. We still have one card that lets us go nearly infinite. I probably don't need this many mornings. I could probably get rid of a few of these. So if I really want to, I could go down to just two as a backup. And now I think we always go infinite? How's that, chat? <laughs> How's that? How's that for optimization? <laughs> I like I technically might even be able to get rid of the mornings altogether. 
But I like the number 45. I like it being like zeros and fives. So we have a pretty good chance of just drawing into our draw fives. So we could draw 35 cards with to the vault and boomerang can draw eight. So in theory, it shouldn't be possible to not go infinite. And we can seek out adrenalines or boomerangs or alpha stars or technically our pounces. So I guess what I'm going to do is try to get rid of morning and two seeks. Actually, let's get rid of four seeks or three seeks. So now we should just have the infinite. <laughs> if it lets us do this deck, it's over. So I think that's about as optimal as I can get it without going like nervous mode. So we could draw 35 cards with our draw five. We don't need any other draw ability. We have three anti-boss things. We have four projectiles. So yeah. <laughs> this should be this should be monstrous, chat. Monstrous. Oh yeah, speaking of which. Could open some card packs. What did we even get? Folly of Arcanum. So everything is just officially giving us more money. We don't need any more. Wait, it said I had every card in the encyclopedia, but I never used crossing arrows. Inflict four damage in a scattered area, poly hit, inflict four damage in a scattered area again. That sounds fun. I wonder why I got card encyclopedia. Maybe it's not 100%. There we go. We got an actual new card, chat. We did it. You know what we're gonna do, chat? I don't feel like doing side quests today. I think we played for about three hours. So what we're gonna do... Why don't we just go straight for the bad ending? Which just requires game overing on the final boss? Sure chat will think is like... I think we'll reach the boss really quickly. <laughs> I think chat would agree, right? I, I don't think that'll take that long. And here's the final curio. Start of turn, gain one AP for each gizmo card in hand. Oh! That's actually kind of a fun synergy. I'm gonna like that. Let's take a look at our deck. Look at our curio bag. So we're still missing curios for some reason. I know we haven't completed the stranger technically. Maybe the other character gives us some stuff. Because we've done every challenge, to my knowledge. We beat every draft tournament. I I'm fairly certain. I will maybe go back and review. I know- I'm pretty sure we did two of them, and we did one today. We did the boss rush. So with this Tome Sigil, we straight up have an infinite. So, yeah, this should just be GG. So let's see how long it takes for us to get to the final boss. Oh, why did the tower reset? Oh, I gotta go through the tower again? Oh, chat, come on, what? What happened to my other floors? What do you mean? Wait, I gotta climb the whole tower again? I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, chat. Unless it's just a glitch. We definitely have beaten the game before. Oh, it's a glitch. Okay. I was gonna say, if I had to go like 27 floors, I was gonna lose my mind. <laughs> like, I just wanna lose the game real quick. Don't mind me. Well, speaking of which. Yeah, that, that would have been terrible. So, chat, this is what we call a GG scenario. So this is why we don't need Jettison anymore, by the way, Chan. If you weren't clear why it removed it. I'm like, we we have ascended beyond that point. So if we didn't have Confer to Chaos, I would probably be using Jettisons. We've now officially drawn our deck. We should be good. This should be pretty quick. The only thing we need to do is just burn a lot of energy. Ooh. 
probably even go down more seeks, honestly, based off of how I'm drawing. And you can see it's just kind of insane with boomerang card draw. Draw our boomerangs again real quick, don't mind me. Hmm. Chat. Mm mm mm. Yeah, probably one more boomerang just to smooth out our draw. Because it does draw cards naturally, which is really good. Although I don't think it matters if I pick up cards here, because I'm just going to game over, right? Better. All our boomerangs back. That feeling when you just teleport over and just redraw boomerang is so disgusting. So we're kind of demonstrating the loop here. So by thinning out the deck, we're able to kind of draw into it more neatly. Honestly, I might even get rid of some quiet flutters. I, what is the minimum number of cards we can have in our deck? Is it 40? I think the game is over. So I, I could probably trim it down further. Get rid of some quiet flutters to just get more damaging cards. Because honestly, I just want the ability to just not have to draw cards. Would save us some time. All right, there's other things in this room I should probably take care of. Draw our boomerangs again, which should also draw our energy. Since we have fly, we could just fly over the gap. Beautiful. Well, anyway, uh, I don't think my opinion has changed. Um, <laughs> I still think that uh, Traveler is one of the best archetypes, and with just... Honestly, very little input from Stranger at this point. We have basically near infinites. I find kind of funny. Like, honestly, we might even be able to simplify the combo down a little more. The Seek just guarantees that we draw it more energy from over here. <laughs> Actually disgusting. We don't even need our aerial aces. We'll leave them down there. Cards are kind of dead. Oh no, chat, a quote-unquote challenge room. However will we deal with the challenge room, chat? We'll never be able to defeat it. Where's our other boomerang at? Did I really not draw it? That's so sad. Yeah, see, this is why I want to put another boomerang in over other choices, just so I don't have to draw cards as often. Not because our combo needs it. Still feel like drawing it. So I might go down like two more seeks. Honestly, just to draw more boomerang. I find that card kind of annoying to get from the graveyard. And boomerang is so good. So I could go down a couple more alpha stars. Again, I don't remember how many cards we had. 45 in the pack? I, I can find a way to lose five. I could get rid of a lot of the Seeks. The Seek, I think, just guarantees the combo. But I don't, like, need it in hand either. I think having seven Boomerangs would make me happier. Because it's also card draw. And is our main damage ability. Technically, Pounce is faster in some areas. Depending on how close they are. Uh, 
I mean, I guess if we play again next time, I could try to handicap myself to not use Stranger or Traveler. I could try another multicolor combo. But I think for this, for the purpose of just reaching the final boss, I think I'll do whatever I can to speed this up. Oh, I ended my turn by accident. My bad. We draw our energy gainers. Man, if we had more flashes, I'd be so happy. You have no idea. Energy gain. Draw our teleport. Don't care if I get rooted. But I'm going through this area as quick as I can. I don't think I could do it that much better. I could go in a pounce killing spree to cycle that into our hand. Maybe I will. I really want to put Quiet Flutter there. I don't mind putting my other pounce further in. Throw all these out of here so I can get my energy back up. Put our teleport back into the mix. Throw the boomerang. Throw the boomerang. Throw the boomerang. Draw cards. Throw the boomerang. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. Managed to not draw it. That's so sad there. Put that back in there. Draw more cards. Not the pounce it. That's not the card I'm looking for. Come on. Draw the card. There we go. There's a boomerang. I don't know what the condition was. <coughs> Maybe that's healing. I don't know what that icon is. But I guess we're gonna pass it. Oh, we, okay, there we go. Uh, let's go over here. Well, fortunately, the action is not "don't take infinite turns" because uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna promise that. So yeah, definitely need to put more boomerangs in to get consistency. Because boomerang draws into boomerang, which is unfair. Oh, what's this? Strengthen your fishing line. Sure. Okay. I mean, I'll do the fishing mini game. I don't know if this matters. Why not? Don't mind me. Just in the, you know, the eternal... Well, that goes pretty fast. Just in, like, a hellscape tower in which I plan to die. You know, as you do. Mine makes it annoying. There we go. Still got a lot of time left on the clock, which is good. The money doesn't matter. We're just collecting fish for the sake of collecting fish. I might let the might let them time out some more fish spawn. Might be the play. A lot of fish we just picked up. Half the timer remains. We got more than half the bar filled again. Hopefully we should get the thing where uh, we get another bonus. As long as I don't have any mines, we might be fine. Although the amount of fish spawning right now is pretty bad. Gonna be a little closer than it should be. So close. Oh, that was a damaging one. My bad. Well, we'll collect more fish in case there's an achievement for it or something.
Q5, not bad. Here we go, chat. More money I don't need. It's a shame because I don't think we can send those cards back once we acquire them. So sadly, I don't think there's a way to save anything that we just got, but we got it for the sake of getting it. On the plus side, if we just want to really beat the rest of the game fast, we have everything we need now, for sure. <laughs> I think Jack can agree, like, this is just actual insanity. and effective. Bonk, bonk. I don't know if the enemies will ever get a turn again unless I just straight up make a mistake. There's the pawn piece change. That now has a lot of minor health. Guess he's useful. Energy in here, draw some cards. Go ahead and teleport full screen. What do you think, Chad? Is this <laughs> do you think this is our strongest deck? I mean, I'm not really surprised it's Traveler again, to be honest. The, <laughs> the pawn didn't even get a single turn. <laughs> We're fun. We're so useless. <laughs> Teleport over here, draw some energy into the combo, I guess. Man, just look at it go. Oh, what a thing of beauty. Fine, I'll teleport. That energy boost here. Draw some cards, demonstrate the loop. I like that it didn't show that it was gonna target them, but we already knew from before it would. Leave the shards on the ground, it doesn't really matter. I mean, do shrines even matter? I don't think they do. I'm gonna move on. I would have liked to have returned our resources a little bit though. It's another thing where I can't do a thing, but, uh, spoilers. I think it really matters. Teleport over here. Get our energy back up. Back again. Some cards. All our boomerangs again, hopefully. Indeed we did. So we might go down some quiet flutters. Oh, I accidentally gave the enemy a turn. My bad. Oh, don't attack. I guess we're failing this treasure. Whatever. Started stunned. Interesting. Let's look for this card that time. We draw our boomerangs real quick. Excellent. Go ahead and teleport in and strike you this way. It's just so good. Oh. <laughs> right, chat? Just like every time, like, it just, it seems like it shouldn't do it, and it just, mmm. What a thing of beauty. I love you, Boomerang. I called very early on that it was one of my favorite cards, and it has only gotten better <laughs> since I first used it. So I was like, wow, that multi hits 
in terms of like hitting the same enemy multiple times it hits a we it's, it's like the problem solver might even just get rid of alpha stars too at this rate don't even need them in normal travel and if we're gonna do the tower again i guess i technically don't need them at all Here. Also, the energy with the cards. On to the boomerangs. So, I think this is about as fast as it gets. The rest of our hand is basically dead. What? Is there an enemy? Huh? seen something chat am i being blind does this count as an enemy i didn't think it did like listen i'll pop everything hopefully i didn't soft lock the game that would make me very sad i don't see an enemy unless this is counted as an enemy Know what happened there, chat shenanigans. Also, what happened to whoa, whoa, what happened to the frame rate? Hello, you feeling okay there, tower? No last enemy block went down, but something got destroyed and spawned another enemy block rose up again. I didn't, but there were no enemies when I ended my turn. Yeah, I think they got killed by a stage hazard, like you're saying. But, like, there was nothing to fight visible on my screen. I think the game got a little confused, and that confused me in turn. That is a lot of magma, if I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm assuming it's because, like, I, I think I hit, unless I was thinking of the previous room, I thought I hit, like, a spawner by accident. Anyway. We're, we're now racing the frame rate, since uh, the memory leaks are definitely still happening, sadly. Uh, I guess I'll switch to pounds. Also cards. Some energy. Oh, another pounce, maybe? Oh, on range. View this way then. This. Roll our cards. Man, it's just so consistent now. Roll some cards. Teleport I'm looking for. The enemy. It's so good. It's so ridiculous. Did we draw our other teleport? I don't think so. There we go. Alright, so we basically have the teleport cycling between our graveyard and library, which is fine. Yeah, whatever happened in that room has now lagged the game pretty heavily. Spider Link killed the Spider Man's prop. Combat ended because Spider Link died. Spawn is Spider Link. Combat began again. Boomerang killed the Spider Link while combat is just starting. <laughs> yeah, I think it got confused. Welcome, Dungeon Drafters. So, unfortunately, I think that also lagged the game out. But that's fine. We're almost done anyway. We're just going for the bad ending. Because I think at this point, we can agree that we have, we have trivialized the main combat of the game. It is over. There's nothing they could do to prevent this infinite at this point. I even just teleport over here because I can. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, stranger traveler combo. You're so good. I'm glad that this curio was not unlocked at the start, because if I had this at the start of the game chat, it would have been something else. Yeah, we're just gonna draw our cards from the grave back in. 
Who needs to exhume when you could just win? <laughs> so we're just gonna just speed run towards the end, I guess. Goodbye. Did I get the true ending? No, we did not. We're gonna... Oh, we did the normal ending, which we played with a somewhat fair solo color deck. Then I decided, you know what? Let's let's try some duo colors now that we're done with the game. And that, uh, that resulted in this. Go ahead and get some energy. Traveler is so good. Listen, you can nerf Strider Gloves all you want. Okay. You carried me in the beginning of the game, but now we got the new carry. This constant cycling from the graveyard, what a thing of beauty. I think only really Traveler can take advantage of this. I can't think of anything else that could really draw five so consistently. And then also have the energy boosters in the same colors. Because essentially I'm playing with like eight, like it, I allegedly have 40 cards in the deck, but I'm playing with like 10 of them at any given time. So we are just going to absolutely stomp it. So we'll try to die to the boss on purpose for the bad end, because I think that's how you get the bad end. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and that's, I think, all we're going to do. Unless this goes really quickly. Then I might humor, humor a request to do one more side quest. Uh, draw some cards. We'll get our teleport back. Here we go. Combo's intended to be broken. That's good. It definitely, definitely feels like a different tier. I think with the Strider Glove changes, I don't think I'll use those anymore. I think the big appeal of it was uh, with the movement that was on it before, the ability to just always have an extra card every room, I think was more powerful than getting it on Zip or anything else. I'll probably use the other Curio if, if I were to play like a depowered version of this. Uh, but yeah, because unfortunately, yeah, with the Exhumed cards, they don't draw themselves. We also have Confer to Chaos, which is its own infinite, which seems very silly, because I don't think this card was, like, super hard to get. And this unlocks a ton of infinites. We could have had that much earlier if I'd been focusing on other things, but that's another story, I guess. Yeah, the fact that we can constantly Confer to Chaos... Uh, like quiet flutter for AP, where I can use the draw five and just make it draw two every time. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's go over here. And now that we have more teleports that gain AP, oh, we're going pretty well. Hmm. I appreciate that enemy having multiple health bars. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, whatever that interaction was, unfortunately, is definitely like the game. But fortunately, I think we're almost there. I don't see a way to get rid of the cards that I picked up there. So we're gonna give a salute to the cards I'm gonna sacrifice to the bad ending. Should almost be there. I think it's one more floor. to just roll into a boomerang. Perfect. So we'll reset, I think, once we're done with the bad ending so we get our frame rate back up. Let's go back here and go ahead and do this. What a combo. Some energy back. Go ahead and teleport over here. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't super matter which side I do first. We have infinite cards, so... At this point, it's just a formality. We just gotta reach the boss. We'll let the boss actually hit us this time. That poor boss. Uh, I'm gonna real quick. I almost ran out of AP. That would have made me really sad. Should do it. I should draw into my boomerangs here. Yeah, we'll refine the deck a little bit more. 
then if the chat has any requests of combos, we'll try it. Although, <laughs> I don't have really high faith in Raider. Raider is one of those ones where I feel like if it was in a different game, it would have been really strong. But I think their ability to not really be able to deal with multiple health bars is kind of a problem. Because, like, I don't have problems dealing 10 damage with other archetypes. But the difference between that and Raider is that, like, with Traveler, I get, like, infinite movement, or, like, near infinite movement, and card draw, and AP. Oracle, I have, like, a million bodies that also heal. Engineer, or, or uh, Warden, uh, I could basically just be immune forever, which is very cheesy. And Stranger, we've already seen, just goes, like, infinite in all sorts of crazy ways. But, I don't know. It's like, do I really want to use a Brilliant Arrow over, like, a 10 AP Pounce at this point? Not really. Or Raider. Ooh. I guess we'll read a lore book. I mean, I don't really want to use a Shrine. They need them. Your disembodied and cold voice speak to you. Oh, hero of legend, hear our tales. Knowing both lies and truth is the only way forward. Now the hard part losing to the boss. Yeah, that's kind of true, actually. The fear of the unknown and uncertainty that the stranger embodied became a wish. From that wish, something emerged. Something that stole the tomorrow of all. The usurper of the future, of the magic that would finally change the world. The usurper ate the stranger, stealing their magic and using it to enact the wish for the permanence of the world as it is. Or as is, excuse me. His first order of business was to destroy the agents that brought the stranger to the world in the first place. To destroy f the four archetypes and the twelve saints. I was gonna say, one of those one of those saints should be uh, Saint Boomerang, chat. Boomerang is like the hardest carry so far in this playthrough. But before being eaten, the stranger had already erected a tower of change and potential, from which a new world would emerge. Enraged, the usurper took one of the people who wished for it to exist, the strongest one, and possessed it transforming him into its lord. This demon lord, so to speak, went to the tower and took over its functions. No more would bring it, no more would it bring change to the world, only misery. The energy of chaos to create tomorrow soon became the stagnating miasma of death and decay. The four and the twelve bravely came to confront the lord and free the still living stranger from the grasp of the usurper. The end of the battle was not what it was supposed to be. The usurper lost the battle, but not the war. The four sacrificed themselves to seal the usurper. They still couldn't free their sibling. The stranger, still hostage to the usurper, was sealed alongside it. And in the end, people who feared the stranger and wished for the usurper uh, pinned all the sins of the latter to the soul of the former. Or so say the Harai. There we go. So sadly, I don't see anything that will let us uh, put our cards back, so... Fawn salute to the cards that I'm not gonna get. GG, our cards. All right, let's die to him. Bad ending time. Right, we're gonna move forward and make his attacks more efficient. There we go. Yeah, punish me. <laughs> Right, chat? Yeah. Tell me how the game is played. How did he... Oh, whatever. Oh, he did the thing where he teleports. Let's see what he did. There we go. Oh, does that not result in the bad end? Oh, I thought that's what we had to do for it. Interesting. Oh, well, maybe I misunderstood. Let me go ahead and reset real quick. Give me a second, chat. That's not, Oh, that's not the final boss I need to lose for. Oh, there's another final boss. Good to know. All right, so let's quit to desktop, since I would like the frame rate to return. Give me one second. And I believe I owe somebody a thing. Ah. Uh, well, at least I got to experiment with the cards. That's good to know. One second. Ah, 
Aw, see, I just went up there to get the bad ending, but apparently that's not how you get the bad ending. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Let's see. Setting. Give me one moment, chat. Somebody got the VIP redemption that I'm now finally getting to. On the plus side, at least we saw the, the power of the deck. So I don't regret testing or piloting it all the way there. I think that's a good comparison. Goals manager. The Promethean Inc. There we go. VIP save. Okay. Oh, I clicked into the game. I trolled myself. So unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to get the controller to read if I do that. Because I do have to kind of click into it when it's full screen, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's try this again. Take two. But this time, don't click into it or else I lock out the controller. Try that again. On the plus side, we got Card Completionist completed the card encyclopedia. 1.2% of the players that have played have gotten the achievement. We're on the way there. There we go. You can change it in the controller option. Is there a way to do it from here? Oh, if you go deeper in here. Okay. Okay, that's good to know for the future, I suppose. I'm used to, like, if you're doing it in, let's say, Yakuza, for example, where, like, if you do it on the main menu and then you, like, touch the controller, it registers the controller. But that's good to know. As long as it's an option. So if alternate games speed up, I think everything else is fine. I think I need to do anything here. Now let's proceed a little bit. In one second. Flash the game capture one more time. It did not like that, apparently. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> it did not like how I entered that when I didn't click into it, but that's fine. Vine Maiden says, Fair adventure. I'm sorry for disappearing without notice. Rip the scavenger that you sent him to help me. Thank you. It's just... I couldn't sit quietly after all that happened. I started using stranger cards because of the Rai's orders. I was afraid you would succumb to the corruption of the stranger. But you didn't. It made me start questioning whether I was right. Then the Harai revealed something disturbing. The existence of the usurper. The description is exactly as the stranger is described in our scripture. This meant that either we or the Harai had the same enemy... And the enemy wasn't the stranger. Of course, I had to confirm myself. I would never trust a Harai's word like that. Until now. I went after a runesmith to learn about a rune described in the scriptures of the Crystal Church. Apparently, it was a Harai rune all along. After confirming that it exists with the Great Master, I journeyed to find it. Thanks to the scavenger's resourcefulness, we pinpointed the probable location of the rune. And then Fool here helped us with the last stretch. <laughs> then Fool here? That's kind of funny part of my language, but she is a weird one. But she helped us to reach the temple and find the rune. Here, the rune of harmony. The Rai said it will reveal the face of the usurper at the top of the tower. I feel ashamed for chastising adventurers for using the stranger. As I learned in these travelers, the enemy is something else. And I pray that you'll be able to defeat it. The Rai are betting on you to do it, and so will I. Good luck, fair adventurer. May you find victory at the end of your journey, for the sake of all of us. Harmony, with this rune, you're one step closer to the truth. Uh, found in Shirai Temple, the rune is the motifs of the world of the five, is imbued with the wishes for a change in progress for projecting stasis. Okay, so presumably I just need to equip this, and then we can fight the true boss. The question... Okay, so it does have to be 40. Let's go down some cards, then. Don't need this many seeks. Why don't we draw more boomerang? <laughs> Don't need that many quiet flutters either. Hmm. Should put more pounces in the deck, I guess. Okay, so we got we put more damaging cards in. We have seek just to make sure that we draw into it, but I think it's over at this point. So let's save. Oh, I don't need to equip it. Interesting. Has an unknown effect. So if I go back and fight the boss, I don't need this equipped in my 
loadout? That's interesting. We have everything unlocked here, at least. In which case, I don't really want to change anything if I don't actually need it. I guess I could go for the true ending. That didn't take super, super long to do. So we have one healing ability. We got multiple AP sources. Got a couple damage moves. We have a lot of boomerangs. One alpha star in case I really want it. Honestly... I might even just get rid of Alpha Star. Let's make it become Quiet Flutter so I could draw it out of the deck easier. Or you know what I could do? Get rid of a Quiet Flutter. Have another Aerial Ace? Or Flight? Probably okay. That way, I should still draw into the infinite. Nope, but the room has an effect in the fight up to you if you use it or not. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it. I think we'll just rush to the end again. Our frame rate is back, so that's good. Ah, oh, the UI has fixed itself. So we saw when we beat the game earlier, that's what freaked me out earlier. It said floors 1 to 9 were safe, 10 to 18 were risky, but we're missing the descriptions on the other floors. But it looks like just re-entering the tower fixed that. That's good. Because <laughs> I thought when we beat the game and saved it last time that uh, we had unlocked the descriptions. Weirdly, when we came back, it was not there. Ooh. I need to draw better here. I did... I whiffed on the draw card. That is really awkward. Huh. That's a little unfortunate. Hmm. Oh well. I gotta play it, I guess, semi-legit. Fortunate. So I can still get infinite AP. Oh no, I can't because I don't... Mm, I actually can't. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of these cards. We're gonna draw a new hand. I'm gonna keep the boomerang. I'm going to... Ooh, I can't discard this. Oh, that's probably why I need one. I need one jettison in the deck. Specifically to stop this. I could get rid of these cards. That's fine. So we whiffed kind of hard. I'm just thinking about what I could do. I could just get... Oh, this will help me get rid of cards. Actually, I didn't even think about that. So, let me think. Which ones do I not want? I want to keep Boomerang. Don't need Teleport. Do need to just draw cards. Alright, let's see if we can get a better hand this time. Kind of, but not really. Alright, well this is why we drew more Boomerangs. There we go. No longer an awkward whiff. Now we can draw all the draw cards that we need if we need them. There we go. Maybe I'll put in one more Seek just to avoid that issue if we play the deck again. There we go. Now we basically have our deck. Wow, all of our strong cards were kind of lodged in there. Our blows. Okay, I'll probably go down one aerial ace for another seek. Because I, I, I was thinking with seven draw cards, two seeks, and like seven boomerangs, that I would hit more than just one draw card into a draw card. But oh well. I guess statistically it's still possible. But anyway, let's go ahead and just go clean up. So fortunately now I have a lot more boomerangs, so this should go a little faster with the menuing. Like now we're effectively infinite again, which is good. So I think it's nice that I'm able to kind of dump those cards. So I like the Confer to Chaos working even though it doesn't have a target in the graveyard. Because some games will get very picky where if I don't have something to technically exhume, it would not work. But I'm glad that that is not a restriction there. So that's kind of like my free jettison then. I don't need jettison. 
So in theory, I could just get rid of Quiet Flutter, for example, to get infinite AP if I really want it. I could just do something like this to move my cards around and gain AP. It's the showcase that we could do it. Not that we have to. <laughs> there we go. Don't move. Well, I don't think we'll pass that challenge, but that's fine. I'm going to choose to seek out our energies. Also, I just realized, did we not draw our teleports? That's awkward. I was like, like, wait a minute. Oh no, we failed the challenge. Oh well. Anyway, back to murder. Get rid of a couple of these so we have more consistent card draw. If we put two in the graveyard, maybe three in the graveyard, and then one more boomerang, and then I draw, I should have a good chance of drawing the card combo that I want consistently. But now if I do this... Yeah, see, now we have it set up so the graveyard is... More or less the cards that I want to play over and over. And also the library has the remaining cards that I'm interested in. Another energy, draw the five to force us to draw into probably our combo. Eventually we'll get Seek out of there, because that is kind of a dead card at the moment. It's definitely very good for like stabilizing the initial combo. So it's like, I do want some in there. It will probably go down one card so I can have one more Seek. Just so that I have a better chance of drawing my combo. And Boomerang is so good. We're going to throw basically all of our Boomerangs away. We have some Pounces to deal damage to the boss. We have Ace to just deal 10 damage straight up, which will save time in real time. It's not technically needed. Go ahead and draw our five cards here. I want my draw cards kind of at the beginning of the combo here. Way more likely to draw into it. Two... I really want to aerial ace this, but I guess I could. Awesome cards. Alright, since I'm intending to win, I should probably at least pick up the cards. I don't think I need the resources, though. Some energy. Use our teleport. Probably here. Other teleport. Thanks to Boomerang drawing two cards, we have a pretty good chance of just drawing our combo over and over. So there's like pretty much minimalized menuing. So I think that's about as fast as I could possibly go through that. Two way split, interesting. Oh, I found the exit, that's good. You know, whenever we're in doubt, we just kind of burn an energy card and then hopefully draw five will fix it for us. Got our double teleport, that's awesome. Boomerang has a high chance of continuing the combo without me needing, needing to use a draw card. That's huge. The game definitely goes faster once you're more used to the combos. So we have one heal card, just in case something goes wrong. We do need to tank hit, so the boss reduces us to one or whatever. Whatever gimmick it has, as long as it doesn't stun us, I think we're fine. Over here. 
here. Um, let's use a boomerang deeper in the list. Again, we have good chances of drawing what we need again. Without needing, needing to use a draw card, we just drew what we needed again. Use an AP booster here, I think. And we're going to teleport... Here? This might work. Nope. Well, maybe. Kind of. Let's do this then. Perfect. Is it simple? All we have to do is kind of use our energy cards every now and then, so we have some consistency, and we just draw into our combo. Okay, draw a teleport. Um. Guess this is fine. That is a lot of boomerangs. We did not draw our teleport, so I have to draw five here to get our teleport. Because <laughs> it's faster than trying to walk there. Let's do something like this. Perfect. Unfortunately, because I used Aerial Ace, that introduced a card that's not typically in our combo. So that's kind of a... And my turn. I think the game got a little confused there again, but that's fine. That time I definitely killed Booth Boomerang and then spawned another enemy. There we go. Poor game. Let's go ahead and do this. And... That yeah, should be fun. More energy, draw more cards. We're basically trying to speedrun this by trying to menu as little as possible. Hopefully... You get a little lucky with card draw, so I don't need to use my draw card. Perfect. Let's see? We're getting there. Energy. Now we are forced to draw cards here because I don't have my teleport, so I need to draw my teleport. Did not draw my teleport, gotta draw again. See, this is where if I had one more flash, that's where one of my cards would go, no doubt. No doubt at all. Just to increase the odds of us getting that full screen teleport, it would get rid of one of our quiet flutters, because I find it more useful. Get rid of you real quick. Interesting, so it won't hit the target, but it would in theory hit the target if it bounces. Crawler teleport again. Okay, so unfortunately we drew a little awkwardly there. We had to menu a bit more than intended. But we can make up for that. Good draw. Kind of. Bonk, bonk. Counts. That works. <laughs> I like that one where it's like, don't do this action, and I'm like, that's fine. As long as it's not attack or move, we're good. Let's introduce more energy in the combo. Draw two. So the, the boomerang will effectively loop potentially like four to five cards pretty consistently just due to the fact that it can multi-hit. It's when we don't multi-hit that we usually drop the combo. Otherwise, like the odds of us drawing into the teleport are pretty decent. 
Hmm. Put one more energy in the grave. One, two. Perfect. Like how it's like, you want to use the shrine? And I'm like, no. No, thank you. Don't remember what that one is. But it's not the attack one. Might have been... I don't know. I don't know what that one was. The attack one I thought was like the little hammer versus like the shield. Maybe it means like if I kill somebody? I don't know. Oh well. Let's draw this for now. Yeah, I think the one that we normally ignore is don't heal, I think. Ooh, we drew kind of awkwardly. That's kind of a big oof. Where's our other teleport? I mean, we should draw it here, in theory. There we go. We did 50-50 of not drawing that again, sadly. Uh, we we'll use an energy boost and then draw again. This should basically give us the combo. Perfect. Not too bad. Don't care about that. We're on the penultimate floor. It'll be the challenge room, and then we get to see the altered boss, I guess. Again, I'm feeling pretty good. Even if he somehow gets rid of cards in our hand, we have Exhum. I have insane draw potential. I've got a heal. I guess it really just depends on how many invulnerability ups the boss has. And if the boss spams a lot of like full screen undodgeable damage, it's not the end of the world. I do have some counterplay to that. It just if he hits us with like a stun, I think it's GG. Like, it's not that I can't draw cards to go back into it, but the odds of me drawing the exact combo again... Pretty low. I mean, fortunately, we have, like, semi-stun protection with our draw 5, because if it is discarded, we draw again. So we have, like, some protections against it. But there's a lot of things that would potentially mess, up, mess us up too, like lore. I would not be happy if I saw. We'll just know to bring immunities next time. surprised that reached that far, but I'm not going to complain. Here we go. I guess we get to get another lore buff. Eventually we'll run out of them. We did have that happen once. Your disembodied and cold voice speak to you. O oh, hero of legend, hear our tales. Knowing both lies and the truth is the only way forward. The Rai claim to be the followers of the Four, and the Twelve who understand, or excuse me, understood the need for change in the world of Four Corners. Alongside the Great Ones, they wished for change during the rite that birthed the Stranger and, soon after, swore allegiance to the Fifth. Their initial task was to descend to the world, spread the news to its inhabitants, convince them that the incoming change was a blessing. They were initially met with suspicion, and then with hostility. After the Usurper took the Stranger in their power, the Harai became enemies, persecuted by all. The Four and the Twelve, preoccupied with, having, with saving the Fifth, could offer little aid. Meanwhile, the Harai endeavored to persuade the world of the need for change. They sought methods to help fight against the Usurper. It was already too late by the time they organized. The seal had already been enacted. Subsequently, they retreated into the shadows, committed to guiding the world towards change, waiting patiently for it to be ready, regardless of the time it might take. Okay. So, I'm guessing we're going to get an option to use the rune on the final boss. Based off of earlier conversations, so let's go ahead and do that. So I don't need any setup. We should be good to go. He's coming down. This feels like the same boss fight so far. Still feels like the same boss fight. I mean, I'll go beat him again, but if I do need to actually bring it here, I'm going to be very sad. In the meantime, let's build up some meter. 
We're gonna go for a different combo to save some time. We call that the wombo combo. Get over here. Are you not targeting? We'll beat the game without having the rune equipped and see if that gives us something new. And we'll try beating him with the rune and then we'll try losing with the rune. Seeing if that gains everything up. We need some more energy. At this point, I don't really care what items he drops here. But I probably don't have enough time to go through the dungeon one more time. So we'll refine the deck if we have to do this again next time. Clean up the slime, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Oh, he teleported towards me. Now I gotta move. Now I gotta move. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat? How inconveniencing. I like how it kind of fizzled. Thank you. Okay, where are you targeting? So I just need to be two down from the tile he's going to hit. Ah. Draw our combo again. Yeah, that's basically all that Traveler was missing was the ability to kind of cycle the graveyard. Because it was very easy to run out of cards with them. But as we see, it's still really busted. <laughs> I don't think my opinion has changed very much at all. I thought they were one of the stronger starting classes. Then they were one of the stronger mid games. And now I think they're one of the strongest late games. I don't think too much has changed there. I mean, I guess I'm using a couple of stranger cards here, but honestly, I don't even technically need them. The seek just makes it a little more consistent. I technically could just give myself like more AP a turn if I wanted to or any of the challenge stuff. I don't need to. It's technically an option. One, two, three. You're gonna black hole one of these randomly. So I think what I'm gonna do is line up with one of these. Over here. We're gonna forcibly draw cards to make sure we have our combo in hand at all times. Draw another five cards. Let's go ahead and defeat... Oh, he is immunity one. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Let's teleport over here. I applied burn to him, which is hilarious. Guess I can move forward and draw cards. So we should still have our combo forever. So in a way, he's just kind of trolling himself right now. Like, he hit himself with his own poison. I blew the other thing up in his face so he took burn damage. I mean, it's getting kind of embarrassing for him. I think I'm just going to go one-shot him. I could double boomerang him, but you know what? I feel like sending a message. Do we cap out at 9 AP, which is so sad. Goodbye. So he got silly dumpstered. So I'll keep my cards, and if this does not trigger the other choice, that's fine. Because we'll replace one rune, we could technically get rid of the stranger. Ah, there we go. The new fight. So we'll beat him the first time. Hmm. 
The Demiurge, the false god who usurped the power of the stranger and holds the world in stasis. Oh, I still had a... Oh. <laughs> I still had the ability to pounce and then it reset my AP. That was interesting. Okay, well, I mean, there's no reason to just not delete him here. What is he doing this turn? Open Rift. Put us to sleep. We definitely do not want to be put to sleep. That would make me very sad. Let's get our energy ups from deeper in the deck. I'm not going to draw these again. That was a fun little cinematic. It was a nice touch. We're going to draw our energy ups and then we're going to back up slightly. So I could pounce into a teleport into a boomerang. Let's see what he's got if I do this. <laughs> I was going to say, you better put immunity one up. Right, chat, you better. All right, so let's teleport over here. Just to make sure they're not doing anything special. Oops. Yeah, I don't see any other... See anything else? Let's then turn. Oh, that's trying to put me to sleep. That's annoying. Is that just gonna free stun me as well? Spell flash into absorb soul. I don't know what absorb soul is. You know what I do know? I don't think it really matters what the boss wants to do here. So summon a clone of one of the other bosses. It's kind of neat. So they're just making sure you, you earned it legitimately, I guess. Don't mind me, just clearing out all the rifts. Uh, I'll just pounce on you real quick. Ooh, not quite a one-shot. Let's get more energy. One, two, get some more energy. Get another energy boost. Use Pounce again. Uh, draw some cards. The energy boost. One, two. Get another energy boost. Get another energy boost. Draw five, because I seem to have not drawn any. A little better. Getting actually absolutely annihilated. This should draw us energy. There you go, Chad. Is this one-sided enough? Use that to get more AP. Pull of these. Draw some cards. Hopefully we draw our energy ups. There we go. I'm like, they're in the deck somewhere. So, it no longer absorbs soul, so assuming that would have eaten an enemy and maybe healed it. I don't have any buffs on me, so you can dispel me if you want. I think that really matters. I'm gonna move slightly to the side in case something weird happens, like it's an AoE. So you're gonna put me to sleep again, and there's not much I could do about that. But fortunately, it's only sleep. If Oh, actually, that would have been really terrible. Could you imagine if I was playing phantom cards, chat? Remember how before we were doing the infinite with the stranger? If I didn't have the sleep immunity rune, I would have been so salty. <laughs> I was just thinking about that just now. But since we're using real cards, that doesn't impact us at all. If I was playing Oracle without the sleep immunity, that would have been actual sadness. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're just going to come over here. I'm just going to make sure we have all the cards possible in our hand. So whatever we need here should just be drawn. Don't have to worry about for that for next turn. Ah. Ender turn. Oh, you again. The boss is trying to get to another phase, but uh... Spoilers, I don't think I'm going to let them. Poor boss. It, it's trying. So 
So I did add more pounces in the deck. I might as well just use them. <laughs> I'm not even using flight anymore. That's kind of funny, actually. Let's draw some more cards. Teleport. Another boomerang. Absolutely brutal what we're doing to this boss. This poor thing. It's trying. I just don't care. <laughs> right, Chad? Like, it's it's all good. So we started with Warden and uh Traveler, and now we're just nuking the boss. I don't think it's ever going to get another attack in, so I'm just going to go ahead and just embarrass it real quick. Don't mind me. I'm going to chip it a little bit, because I think it's got 10 health, right? Which I can't do with Pounce. So sad. It only does 9. Direct. Super one-sided, GG. So we'll lose to this boss in the future. We might save that for another session. Defeat the one who stole to tomorrow. It was super achievement unlocked. Let's see what the true end is. GG chan. <laughs> the traveler has taught us well. New tomorrow with the hope of change for the better. Achievement unlocked. So yeah, this might be one of the few games we end up 100%ing. I think we've only done that a couple times on stream before. I don't normally go out of my way to 100% because some uh, challenges are more annoying than others. But I think this one is like decently paced for it. It isn't like the Insano Zestaria ones. Speaking of that's a monolith, fortunately it's not one of those. Like, hey, you need to put 500 hours in the game, then you can finally do the uh, New Game Plus 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 Ultimate Edition, and then you gotta beat the boss with no damage, etc. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> Be like, it it's fine, I just want to enjoy the game for what it is. So I think in terms of what is left in Dungeon Drafters, I mean, we'll go for the bad ending at some point. I'm looking at the time, kind of on the fence, kind of on the fence.
I wouldn't be opposed to trying out other decks, but I don't think we have anything else to unlock at this point. I'll check to see if any NPCs have new conversations. Um, maybe the stranger has something new to say? Otherwise, uh, we beat all the optional challenges. And in my defense, we didn't just use Traveler the whole time. <laughs> we actually did a fair amount of Warden. That was that that was a bit of suffering with the roots. Oh. I'm so happy that got buff, chat. You have no idea. The people don't have to go through that struggle. <laughs> like when I was sitting there not able to hurt the boss. <laughs> like please. <laughs> I only have three AP, no AP gainers, and invulnerability moves. How am I supposed to hit the boss that constantly stealths when all you have are roots? It's brutal. So fortunately, a lot of those cards got buffed, so I think some of the complaints I would have had about, like, Warden feeling underpowered, I think with the change of the horn in particular being useful now, the now literally extra whole turn of invulnerability, and you could share it to other people, fix the root of the problem, see what you did there, Kirk. Yeah, definitely, it definitely was needed. Because, like, the amount of, like, insane things I could do with Traveler, like, give me, like, any two-star or three-star Traveler, and it's literally better than, like, every other card from the other characters. Like, there's some exceptions where, like, Raider does eventually get a little better. Like, I, I do think some of their four and five stars are really fun, but, like, oof, that journey to make them usable was way harder than the other decks. Like, there's usually, like, a one card or, like, a one Curio that kind of fixes those other decks. Like, the moment you get, like, Angel Champion is, like, a really big moment, or even, like, Flawed Mitosis, potentially. Um, that is, like, such a big early power shift compared to, like, Raider, where it's, like, you kind of need, like, four to five mobility skills, which they have. But, like, the packs that they're in require you to go to multiple areas where, like, you can just beat a boss and you just have, like, an amazing, pretty much take it to the end build. Like, I do think it was funny that I think my favorite Raider Curio was the one where if you melee, you get healed, because I just did not like their Curio at all. And I, I am happy they nerfed the Traveler Curio. That that was... Strider Glove was definitely broken. I was like, there's no way this was intended. <laughs> With normal movement, it was just so powerful. I was drawing, like, every single turn. So I'm glad that did get nerfed a little bit, so to stop that early game Traveler spike... Unfortunately, we didn't play with all the rebalanced curios. I saw some where some of the charge time was reduced or uh, kind of altered in how they gained it. Uh, but we did use a fair amount of curios. So I'm happy, you know, we didn't do like all, all of them, but we did like at least 30. So I feel like in doing the different challenges, we got to experience a little bit of what the other decks do. I kind of see Raider where it like, it really has like a strong that it needs something to get going. I feel like that's probably the hardest solo color to survive in, in late game. Where it's like, Brilliant Arrow is amazing before you come across anything like all the teleporters, all of the multi-health bar enemies. But by like, even just like Miasma 2-3, to three, it was like a miracle we did those, to be honest, with Raider. Like, compare, compare any of those runs to, like, when we got Warden or Oracle. Like, Oracle, we were already going, like, not infinite, but, like, we would still end up with, like, 50 to 80 Phantom cards, only two bosses into the game. Like, that power level difference and the ability to just pick and choose for your scenario, I never really felt that at any point with Raider. Like, we definitely had the moments where Raider was like, haha, Raider can, like, three-shot or, like, one-turn a boss if you do all this AP manipulation. But then, like... Midway through the game, like, everybody can do that? Almost? So I I don't know. So maybe we'll see them fit a niche. They have some com components like overkill that I think were useful. It would have been interesting if they had like an overkill for AP or something like that. Or something that if it puts them in grid, it gives them AP. I still feel like grit was underused for them. I do find it funny though that some of the best grit cards are in Traveler. <laughs> 
Like, the fact that they get the, uh, what was it, draw two and gain two AP while in grit is, like, insane to me. <laughs> I'm like, Traveler did not need that, I'm sorry. Traveler is so good. It is kind of funny, though, that even just, like, all the rank one Traveler stuff, like, they have AP fixing, they have, like, repeatable dashes, which is, like, one of the most overpowered things early on in the game, and things have between, like, one and three health, so being able to hit an enemy twice and then be in the right position for it. It's just like insane like the power of just even just the basic dash is just so much better than like half of the other cards in the game you know eventually it gets outclassed but honestly we're reusing that pretty much all the way until the end of the game i think it was even in our final build the first time we beat the boss just because the ability to zip twice or potentially fight those like one hp things or hit like the crossbows or anything else where it just has one health it's just kind of bonkers. So I definitely still feel like Raider is a handicap. Like, they have some interesting things, but, like, are there... Are most of their 1 to 3 rank abilities, or even some of their 4 ranks, are they really going to compete with the power of Boomerang? I don't think so. If Red had more, like... If Raider had more, like, multi-hits, other than, like, Limit Break, I think I would be selecting them a lot more. There we go. We got a journey for our special character. The post credit scene. Finn. Ah, changed a little bit of the background. Alright, let's load into the file, see what happens. If anything. But we have everything, allegedly. Is there an easier way to check this? You're still automatically going into the town map there. That makes it sad. Uh, town's person I never spoke to, which I think is you. Cool. The Rune of Harmony, a sacred artifact exclusive to the Harai, holds paramount significance. Its existence was known only to the elite of our order. Legend says it was forged by the Crystal Saint. Their people's help shortly after the usurper was sealed away. Saint imbued the rune with our wishes for a world capable of change. The usurper was created by the fear of change. This rune, representing the wish for change, is an aversion to it. Yet the rune can only be wielded by those who truly yearn for change. I sense that desire in you from the moment our paths crossed. The legend also says that when one one that can equip reaches the usurper, usurper excuse me, they can defy it. Not only seal it, but also fight it and persevere to do what we all failed to achieve before. Time is ripe, and I believe in your ability to confront the usurper and emerge victorious. Otherwise, I would not reveal myself to you. Impatiently waiting for this opportunity, the usurper will finally fall, and the world will see a new tomorrow. How glorious. New curio. The start of turn, gain one AP and heal one, trigger a discard. Okay. I mean, unfortunately, I have a much better curio, but, like, that's not too hard to do. Now, by trigger a discard, does it just... I'm assuming it means trigger the discard effect. It's not too hard to do. We have a decent amount in Traveler. I don't think we have anything like that in Raider. Outside of maybe one card. So yeah, let's change our build up a little bit. Let's get rid of one Quiet Flutter to get another Seek. I think that's like the only complaint I had about the deck at all was that. That way we get more consistency with our combo. We'll resave over this. I think the kludginess of this is gone now. I still don't... I mean, we could test it real quick. Hold on, chat. Let's try to break it. If I delete this... It still acts a little weird. So it, it's close. I don't think they thought about you deleting things. And then the numbering gets kind of weird. So that's fine. If that's all that's down to after a few fixes, I'm okay with that. But there's still a lot of curios I never acquired. How do I get these? Like, we beat, we beat the game. We beat the bosses. There's not much to retrieve here. Did I not do something at the arena? 
Or do I have to, like, repeat the arena more than once? Because we've definitely cleared all of this. We did the draft boosters. Hmm. Interesting. Might have to look into that later. We got nothing left to do there. We have a ton of gems. Money we don't have any purpose for. He's preparing for his retirement. That's all he has to say now. Just making sure we didn't unlock anything by beating the game. The top race to give you good for the other one. The other four are secrets. Interesting. Hmm. Dialogue is updated here. I can hear one more time. Okay, you don't have anything to say. No rare cards there. But also quickly create a new game. There's something there. I heard that they went through many revisions on the new game. I don't want to accidentally override the save file, though. I'm going to check one more thing before we go further. Always forget where that is. You don't have anything to say now that I beat the game, correct? Alright, you don't have anything new to say. Okay, so let's take a look at the lore entries. Did we miss talking to anybody? An empty slot at the bottom. I think I was just unknown for Gladius. And okay, we have multiple save files. Okay, we might take a look then. Do some lore. We're still somehow missing cards. We're missing four cards, which is so sad. I don't know what RNG has not uh, blessed us, but I feel sad, chat, that we have not gotten this. We're missing two strangers, one traveler. Can you get that correctly? One Oracle. Okay. So, I think I should have booster packs, right? Yeah. We'll open. Maybe we'll get something here. Oh, there's one of the cards we're missing. Full Fortune, Mill 5. Different effects occurred based on archetype and discarded cards. Oh, you know what? I never used that card to see what that did. We had a chance to. I just chose not to do it. Alright, so we have three cards left in the game. So I might look up later just specifically what booster pack they're in. Maybe it'll be worth getting those. Because we've otherwise cleared areas multiple times. We cleared the tower a lot. We cleared library a lot. We cleared the ship a lot. We cleared the raider place a little less than others. So it could be there. Or unless we're just really unlucky. Because we've gotten like 40 to 60 boosters of like the best versions of them in some of the areas. We'll see, I guess. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go to... Menu. Now, allegedly, something will happen if I go to New Game. Oh, I think that was when I was first testing the game. I didn't realize it remembered that save. That's kind of funny, actually. So we can see we're missing, uh... What is it? Five curios? Three cards? I think that's when I was just testing things, so I guess I don't mind restarting. Hmm... Four corners... I could go for the achievement for killing the boss on the first try. I think it just requires me to use Traveler, to be honest with you. Just Traveler... Traveler plus, uh, what's it called? Uh... uh mine is blanking. Raider. I could play the Kinoichi. I think it'd be easiest with the Kinoichi, because I didn't think the Warden really added anything for clear. Whereas, like, any damage card to speed through that boss would probably have sped it up fast enough for me to not get petrified. I don't think there's anything new here so far. 
I mean, some of the dialogue is like slightly cleaned up, but I'm not seeing anything too crazy. So I think like if I were to try to tr beat the boss without getting killed first, it'd probably be Shinobi. The reason being like, oh, you can select the fool now. Oh, interesting. Fearless Master for Bin Harai are the Harmony of the Five Archetypes. Interesting. So I think on like a first playthrough, the reason being is that there's like having like four damage fireball is more relevant the very first time you play the game compared to having like gizmos. I guess we could see what the fool does briefly. It comes with his own cards here. He's got that curio where I think we get AP in healing. Yeah. That's interesting. I guess it's kind of like a challenge mode thing. I don't know if I really want to go through it all the way. Oh, he's got like an- oh, he teleports. That's funny. He also has 20 health, which is pretty ridiculous. Unfortunately, though, I didn't get to see what the effect of the other rune was. I realized he had the rainbow rune. Don't know if that has any other hidden downsides offhand. Oof. Guild burst. Oh man, Chad, I really don't like this card. I imagine this would potentially fill up the curio. Maybe that's the intent of it. Because that card was... That card was a choice. I, I In most scenarios, I don't see why I would ever use this. Just because, like, Fireball's stronger, and you and it's a lower rank. Guess we can see how hard it is, briefly. I don't want to go through the 40 floors or whatever. But at least we know there's kind of like a challenge mode if we want to do it. So we potentially can store up energy on the curio between areas, which is good. Ooh. This is such a weird assortment of abilities. Kind of good to outplay him there. That teleport though. So curiosity. Okay, so so I could fuel burst in order to get AP back. So that now has like a niche use versus why would I ever use this? But there's not a lot of normal discard ability here, which is a little sad. The enemies are definitely much easier. But trying to beat the game with a set that you don't create, it's, it's an interesting challenge. I don't know if I want to complete it necessarily. I imagine that would un lead us to some unlocks. Let's take a look at like what's in the deck itself. It's got- oh, it's got infinite kunai? Okay, that's good. <laughs> right, Chad? That, it just needs one infinite kunai. Okay, that helps a lot. Eclipse Ray... Golem Swing's okay. Energy Needle is fine. Little friends, I do like. Faithful End is okay. Not sure I'm really a fan of Phantom Throw, other than to try to trigger that Curio. So, hmm. Web Jump is very weak. I mean, it, it, it's a movement option that exists, but... So maybe we'll we'll try this maybe another time. So we'll we'll keep that in mind. I might go back and try to beat the other boss without dying, just petrify. Because he didn't kill us via damage, he just kinda cheesed us out with petrify. 
So I think if I do Kinoichi, I could probably get the revenge match where I don't have like wording cards that basically sit dead in my hand. Like I don't really want heal necessarily. I just want to be able to burst the boss as much as possible. Because being able to do like three four three and then three four three and then like three 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 is probably good enough on the first approach to kill the boss. And all it really needs is projectiles or zips or whatever. So anyway, let's uh, quit back to the main menu. I want to check out one thing before we go further. I heard the intro was a little different, so I want to get an idea of how different the intro was. The other characters. Because we played maybe six or so patches ago. Oh, that's cute. It's telling me tutorial stuff. So it's got Flame Burge, which did get buffed recently. I will say that'll help with our strategy. It went from burn one to burn two, which is huge. Goblin Torch, I don't really care about. Long Fang is fine. Fury Swipes is useful. Flame Ring is eh. Gust is good, because I think they count as floating, so it should do more damage to them. Otherwise, we have just kind of okay-ish cards. Shuriken into Shuriken is nice, though. Yeah, I think at some point we'll try to just do the Kinoichi all the way through. Especially now that, like, we're very comfortable with the game. <laughs> Chat, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, what... What rank is hand, hand or I want to call it sleight of hand, but I know it's called hand slate. Is this like another rank one card? Like, why would I? Why would I use some of the other discard effects over this? Like, this is crazy. The card cycling from this card alone is so useful early game. Yeah, there's a three damage one. See, like these are the things I want to stockpile for the other one. Like, I just basically draw two. Because I just get rid of a card I don't like, which is probably most things in Raider. <laughs> you just get to draw more cards. It doesn't do damage, though, but that's fine. Okay, so I got a little bit of an idea of what I'm getting myself into next time. I think Long Fang is good enough. Bolt Smite's my 3 damage. Gust might be my situational 3 damage. Flame Burge getting a buff is huge on the boss. Just an extra burn, because we only have, like... I don't know, like six or seven turns to kill the boss? We'll see. I think if we go through without taking any damage, that might also get around Petrify. We saw that happen in the earlier playthrough, where I had, I think, 15 health to the boss's eight, and it couldn't Petrify. Because Ancient Gaze, I think, only cares about our current health. So as I'm assuming what'll happen is that if I leave it on, like, 11 out of 15 or whatever its health is, but it has only like one of the current health bar that'll get around ancient gaze i think that's how that works we'll find out by testing it on the tower boss a couple times so i think with that knowledge i think we could do the intro easier i think we just got really unlucky when i first did it because i think i took one point of, no i took two points of damage and then i healed afterwards but it was too late and the boss was already full health again so i want to try that again see if that makes a difference and plus some of the raider cards as i said before to get a small buff specifically flamberge technically vault got nerfed but i'm gonna be honest with you chat i i don't even remember using that at all outside of like maybe the first time we had it so to me i don't think i really care about vault being nerfed so anyway i got some things to think about so let's talk let's chat how do we feel about our experiences with the game so far? Well, we we achieved an on-stream infinite uh, card, infinite AP. We splashed colors for the first time in a while. We started the game with splashing colors. I think the big issue was that we kept coming across like really strong, like four, four and five rank um, archetype cards. And it was like, do I really want to have like one or two points in Oracle before it has anything crazy? Or do I just want to go to Traveler 4 where I have Boomerang? Do you know what I mean, chat? So, I mean, some of that is like unfortunate card RNG and we did kind of blaze through the game. Maybe it was more intended that we would build up like a big variety of cards 
to make like splashing a bit better. But honestly, we just kind of stomped the game. <laughs> outside of like, outside of I think like two specific challenges, we uh, I think we covered basically everything. Had some trouble with puzzles, but that's to be expected. I'm not the best at puzzles. Uh, but we analyzed what I thought was strong and we took it all the way to the end of the game. So that was good enough. I did like that when we played Oracle, the ability to kind of juggle with like the premonitions, that curio specifically, not the not the Oracle card that draw not the curio that draws Oracle cards, but the one that lets you get premonitions whenever you copy. That one was a lot of fun. That was probably one of my early favorite curios. But I feel like overall, I don't know. We'll I'll try to poke around, see what I can find. We'll probably do maybe one or two more session, or sessions of Dungeon Drafters. And if they ever do another update, we'll obviously give it a shot and see how it goes. But I think we've reached like mostly the natural conclusion of the game since we got the, uh, the true ending and the normal ending. So I think next time we'll focus on the bad ending and maybe fishing out for some of those final items. From there, we'll see where we go. So for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and hopefully see you in the next part.